Uh, we're very happy. Our old friend, who now lives in L.A., but he comes back uh, from time to time, is in studio. Bill Burr on the Opie and Anthony show. We are kind of catching up in the office. Talking about Biggest Loser, John and Kate Plus oh, 8. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Nutrisystem. Uh, the perfect push-up and gun. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got a full plate for uh, for you, Bill. How you are you? Like Come, I can't hear myself. There we go. You bought yeah. the perfect push-up? Yeah, I did. I got the perfect push-up. I actually got to admit, it is a little bit harder. It's a nightmare to, to, to twist yourself. It, yeah, it's, it's those it's, things that twist your arms as you're uh, doing your push-ups. Push yeah, it makes you realize that you're cheating when you do regular push-ups. Like you're getting nothing done because no. with the perfect push-up. They're on these rotating things, and when you go down, you naturally like rotate, and it makes it a lot harder to do push-ups. Yeah. Plus, I'm so, I really bought them because I'm so old, my wrists can't handle me doing that anymore. <laughs> I'd be going down like, ah! <laughs> so it's, it's actually, you know, it's assisted. You know what's funny is the handles are the same, you know, shape of like a walker. Yeah. So oh, I'm basically, great. yeah, I'm basically yeah. inching my way towards that. <laughs> you make uh, it, I'll have, I'll have nice pecs though. You, you make a really good point because when you get a, uh, older, like we are, and you, you try to stay in shape in the gym, the joints. Just doing sets, your joints just ache. Oh, they kill, they're killing. I wake up now. I, like, I have to, like, when I get up in the morning to take, you know, the morning whiz, like, literally my ankles. I feel like Dan Marino. I'm like, dude, did I play in the NFL? I'm a comedian. What happened to me? And I literally, my caps are all, I got to, like, stop. You're getting hip replacement surgery yeah. already for more oh, time Oh, I lean on, on the, the wall stage. when I relieve myself now. Just yeah. literally just trying to hold myself up. It's brutal. You ever have to go through your mind and try to figure out why something hurts? You're oh. like... Like I, it's got. What did I do? Because you want to rule hurts. out like a disease yeah. or bone cancer or something. So you're like, "Why does my leg hurt?" And then you're like, "Oh, that's right. I brought in some groceries yesterday, yeah. Yeah. and it's just some <laughs> stupid thing that you did." And realized that was enough of a workout to conjure up some muscle. Oh yeah, pain. I, I brought. I bought a gallon of water. And I evidently I inhaled at the wrong time when I switched the water from one hand to another, and I just felt this nerve pain start somewhere in the upper <laughs> mid part of my back, and then I'm literally like hanging from the door jam trying to undo it. The girl's like, "What happened?" <laughs> I, switched, I pulled something. I switched the gallon of water from the right hand to the left hand. Oh, I was brutal. You used to be able to juggle with that, and you'd have no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. unbelievable. It's, uh, Hey, where are you going to be, Bill? We should I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be at Caroline's uh, this weekend, ah. uh, Thursday through Sunday. If you saw my special, I wrote a brand new hour of stuff. Oh, good! I love Trying guys to keep like up you. With the uh, the prolific Jimmy Norton over there. I'm sounding like a broken record, but I got to say for you guys, there's a there's a, only a handful of guys like Bill, Jimmy, Louis C.K. and and a few others that do the show that, that are constantly working on new material. Some of these guys they they leave town, they come back six months later, and they're doing the exact same set, to, yeah. and they're wondering why they're not getting discovered or going anywhere in their well, careers. Well, I would say uh, Jimmy, Jimmy and right. Louie are uh, they're setting the bar. I Good. Mean, I think I'm an hour behind you. No, Louie's got, Louie's on his, his 11th hour, which he's doing, he just shoots himself now. It's only, <laughs> Louie's got like, Louie's like, I'm doing 90 minutes now. But I'm like, 90. how? But see, for the the, <laughs> the comedy, <laughs> it's amazing, and it's all good. But for the comedy fan out there, the guys that don't work on new material are kind of reckoning it for guys like yourself. They Some people are like, ah, I'm not going to see Jimmy or Billy because ah, I've seen their stuff already. No, you haven't. Yeah. Like, you guys are working on a new hour, what, twice a year? Nah, no, no, but every, every eight months, something like that. Every, every year, year you tape okay. it, and then you then you get you got like that four months before the special comes out where you're frantically. I thought I found trying to trying to read, you know, doing a half hour. That's no big deal over the summer to try to come up with a, like a new twenty thirty that you're halfway happy with. But yeah. like when you got like an hour coming out, that is definitely a sprint. You're starting to yeah. tell stories. And my <laughs> uncle was crazy. Like, trying to fill up that, that 45. You tell him the middle to do, yeah, do 30. Do 35. That's well, cool. We, we've talked about it on the, on the show. When we're having a slow show, we start admitting all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, why am I admitting this? Yeah, that's when yeah. all the stuff comes out. Why don't we just play Freebird and go home early? I don't want to tell people this. When you're out of wacky news clips, uh, it all boils down to, well, I was touched. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's where the hair restoration thing happened. I don't think you were going to tell anybody, but it might have been a uh, slow show and it goes with the hell i'll tell her when i uh, did yeah, a little something did something the, uh, with my hair yeah yeah i figured i i, I would uh, blurt that out <laughs> <laughs> you know no it was kind of hard to come in and wear a, a hanky on my head i i look like chloe from fight club <laughs> 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 and i have pornographic materials and yeah. poppers yeah i just want to have sex one last time 
<laughs> he didn't want to go with the shaved head, so he uh, he did a little something something That's, up yeah, top. Yeah, those are the options. I, I did. Yeah, One so of the, that was the I love options. that. I moved to L.A. You say I'm going to be a big phony, and I come back and you're getting the plugs. <laughs> They're not plugs. Hey, how, how soon before you do the commercial, where you step out of the pool and just shake off your mane? <laughs> They're trying to make it sound cooler, Bill. They're, it's hair restoration now. They don't call what, them what plugs. What is the difference? Plug. What, what? Plugs where they took this giant cookie cutter and gouged out chunks of hair from the back yeah. and then gouged out a chunk of your scalp and traded places. Oh, my they, God. So they, yeah, they did that. So you'd have these big lumps of hair growing out of your head that looked like plugs. Yeah, and they would literally, the, and it all looked good, but like the front line soldiers, those saving Private Ryan hairs in the front, <laughs> yeah. they just looked like they looked like they took like your grandmother's sewing yeah. the needle yeah, point. Yeah. They stitched it in. They like never just stitched it in. It they were never able to figure that one out. It did. The front of the hair good. always gave it away. So yeah, now, you got to have bangs. Yeah, you got the exactly, plugs. exactly. Yeah, you couldn't brush your hair back or anything like that. Now they take individual hair follicles. It's individual. Each one is is placed in your head, like in the direction your hair grows and everything. So it's not like a clump of 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 fifty hairs at a clip. They take like thousands of hairs and separately put them in your head, uh, uh, it, 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 like an like an artist at work, and they pop <laughs> them in your head. Laughing at you, an artist. <laughs> it, it 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 works. It's amazing. Each hair is finely selected. Finely from selected. The finest forest yeah. at the back of your head. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Harvested from the uh, best place, the back of your head. And since you can't see it, hopefully they just put them in like in the shape of a penis. <laughs> Some kind of practical joke. <laughs> yeah, we like pulling gags on people. Right. Yeah, do, you, do they give you the option to like switch your part? Like, do you want to switch the part in your head, you know, from this side to the other? I wonder if they could do that. It's like, yeah, you know, can I want to I want to switch this Get around. Get the magician or... haircut from the 20s where it's like right down the middle. <laughs> down the middle like, a... like you look like you actually still have... own some gold. Can I have the Harry Houdini? <laughs> yeah. I own some That's... gold. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> With a handlebar mustache. That's strong. I want to be a weightlifter Bill, in the circus. I, I got a peek yesterday. It looks good, I got to say. I was prepared to it's beat him up over it, but it looks pretty good back it's there. It's just got to grow in. You know, I got the front, got these little. <laughs> please, please little put it down. I don't. It's already the, in the back. What's the matter? You look like you're gonna go clean someone's apartment. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, the that. bandana thing is creepy. That is horrible. But it's it's. Well, when all you get I rid of the bandana, it's Chloe. From, yeah, she looks like a video game. When do you character. when do you get rid of uh, the bandana? Aunt? Um, I guess in the new year, hopefully. Once uh, uh, Friday tomorrow, I get the stitches taken out from the donor area, <sighs> uh, and that's why the hat hurts because the back of the hat band rubs right on right where there. where that that uh, the stitches are. And oh, okay. It, and it hurts. So you'll be back to a hat soon. So hopefully. yeah, I'll be able to wear that. And then and we can finally look at you again. Yeah, I know you want to look at this stupid bandana. Mm. I know it's yeah. awful. I, I know it's you know terrible. what it is. It's loose. Yeah, it's Very much loose. to lose. It has to be because tight. It, it winds up hurting because the knot to the bandana is right where the goddamn stitches are too. Everything seems to be there. My pillow when I lay down in bed, right where the goddamn. You know, they, stitches they don't are. show this part. They don't show this part of no. the hair restoration no. thing. They go right to the hair looking great. It's the smiling Coming guy the with pool. the girl riding a horse, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and jumping out of the pool, skydiving. <laughs> it's not me trying to sleep, going ow. Ow! I'm, I'm moving my head around. I'm tucking yeah. rolled up towels under my neck. You know, I, got, so I, I, I don't have to lay the back of my head on a pillow. I got a bandana question for you, because uh, not in recent years, but over the years, every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? I think I might want to try the bandana look, right? Yeah. And you see them in the stores, all the different colors and stuff. Have you checked with the homies to make sure you're not doing anything stupid here oh, with the bandana a, color? This is an obvious Crip uh, color. And so it is. This is the notorious blue Crip bandana. Um, and the red one is crazy. a blood bandana. So once you go with the neutral, what's the neutral color? Which which, which bandana are we allowed to uh, to wear without getting shot? Uh, any color? Pink. I don't yeah, know. Is, is it forty forty second streets the cutoff? Right. Like you got to know whether you should, you should be north or south of that. Yeah, yeah. Here in New York, so you yeah. might have I the, never even know. You might have a dangerous bandana on your head. Uh, yeah, I, I would have checked. I don't think you I want to want the homies to call in. Yeah, and, you do. And let you, know? you look like you killed someone in seventy eight. You just got out. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get a tattoo of a teardrop on my uh, eye. He did all his time. TCB he never ratted on, on anybody. Neck. Over a crank oh. sale. Yeah. <laughs> this looked like an extra from Longest Yard or something. I did. Uh, I, yeah, I did my time like a man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some of those. He's just going to decide. Out of the blue. 
We'll get the homies to call to make sure you're safe and where you you know where you're safe with that bend on the collar. Yeah. I don't think the Cribs of the Bloods would look at Ant and think that he's a, a member or a rival member. I'm in their turf. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want. I'm not wandering into Bloods turf either with my Cribs uh, collar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't, I don't think I have to worry about that. All right. People wear red bandanas around here and blue. And, well, what are you going to do? I think if you're a black guy, you get more uh, of an issue because they think yeah. you could be a member of the other other other. I almost, just, I almost said the other club, the other gang, but you, the no one would think you are. If, but he's kind of got a little Latino look about him. Maybe yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. He does. Mm-hmm. He's got that Jim Croce mustache. Mustache. Jim Croce mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to shave it um, a little. I've been trying to shave the top a little more. And then I take, you know, the electric grader and really get it down and try to make it a little it's very, thinner. It's very Nicaraguan. Yeah. I don't want to Gomez Adams, but I don't want to Groucho Marx. But uh, it's very hard to groom a mustache so it doesn't look big and, uh, uh, yeah, very um, Hispanic fatherly so looking. So you're chopping it down now, too? On this? Yeah, yeah, on the side. You can't yeah, really put it on his head. Shape. <laughs> yeah, right. taking his That's mustache hair out. <laughs> They're selecting the finest whiskers from finest his face. Finest mustache hair. <laughs> so does this creep you out, Bill? What? The, the, the look he's got going. Well, the, the hair restoration. No, I've seen he guys, calls it hair restoration. I've seen guys uh, go through this stuff. And does it look yeah. good in it's the just, end? No, it's just weird. It's weird for a little bit, and then and then you just f- kind of forget. Yeah. Yeah, you don't think about it. Yeah. I mean, that's, there's a ton of guys. Like you see, like movie stars who are like totally going, and then they're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The next movie comes out, they look like they're 18 again. But in and LA, you wonder, you know, in LA, can you tell the guys mm-hmm. that are getting this done? You know what I noticed in LA is that uh, only good-looking people get plastic surgery. Yeah. That's what I've kind of like. Anybody who has like like the face yanked and everything, you could tell they used to look good-looking, <laughs> and now they just their face just looks really shiny. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they just got over like the worst ass kicking. Ever, their faces are all messed up. But, like, ugly people, like, you know what I mean? Like, the people who should get plastic surgery, like a Steve Buscemi. <laughs> those guys that just, like, I think because the, the, there's no pressure when you were never really good looking. Where, yeah. like, good looking people, like, you know, when you go back to your high school reunion, no one cares about me. I was just one of those, you know, guys in the guys middle in of the, the hall, school of fish. Yeah, yeah, no one cared. But, like, you look at the cheerleaders, the popular guys. You know, like, you know, yeah, no one ever he, says like, wow, Paul Giamatti. Wow, that guy got old. Yeah. <laughs> he really fell off. It's more like, you know, like Tanya Katane. Have you seen her on? The, oh, uh, oh God. my God. Celebrity rehab. We, we haven't talked about it much on this show, but what a what an awesome show. If you uh, it's amazing. look at the old White Snake video of her on the hood of the car and everything, well, it's amazing. And then now that was the hottest video out of all those hair metal yes. videos. Oh, absolutely. Ones with her in that white dress dancing at the foot oh. of that bed. It was insane. What Fantastic. happens with the plastic surgery? You know, people do a little little something something, and you don't really notice, and then they cross the plastic surgery line. Yep. Uh, Tony Katane did it, and know who know who just crossed the line recently? Not that any of our listeners care, but look at Madonna. She oh, crossed the plastic surgery line. She's starting to look like a, a, one of those cat women. Your women now. Yeah. Well, and what it creepy. is, you know, a it, little. It gets to that point. I don't care what age you are. You got to put some clothes on, even if you're shredded. It's like you're fifty. Oh, you look yeah, great but... for fifty. You know what? That's the thing about it is, like, I don't know. Whatever happened to like, like, elegance is gone. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like you know, the new elegance is you dress like a whore. Yeah, no matter how old you are, you try to get in shape, and and still the the arms aren't right. Well, it's the uh, ligaments. Yeah, all yeah, your elasticity is kind of gone. In no, the if, skin. If, if if Madonna would wear like a like an, a really classy dress, she would look unbelievable for yeah. her age. But she's still wearing that you know muff shaved, <laughs> whatever leotard that she's yeah. wearing. It's like, dude, you you're fifty. The the pointy uh, uh, highway cone bras and yeah. jumping out on stage. <laughs> Stripper body makeup to hide the spider web varicose veins. Varicose. I mean, there's just no way. I don't care if you're doing yoga. I don't care. You're still blowing out those blood vessels. You're 50. It's time to cover up the hoo ha, sweetie. If you go the other way, we were talking about Biggest Loser in the Office. I didn't know you were a fan of that show. I actually, my girlfriend I'd watches it all the that. time. I'd take a peek at the Biggest Loser. Yeah. No, but I, I last. I don't know if this season's as bad, but last season I I had to tap out where it was just like I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't Explain watch. Explain for these guys because I don't think Jimmy or I'm 
look at this. I, but my thing, well, the reason why I stopped watching the show is like I'm just so sick of watching obese people cry on TV. <laughs> it's just one of the most unsympathetic things. Oh yeah, ever. Yeah. And they're like, just, I'm, I'm, and they play sad music. Like I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna start yeah, crying because yeah. some dude can't stop eating cookies. Yeah. It's like didn't like a school collapse on a bunch of kids in China. <laughs> right. Some guy dies senselessly in Walmart, and this guy, hey, the cookies taste so good. I eat one, I can't stop. It's like you know, put twenty starving people in a house, I'll cry for them. But yeah. you know. <laughs> Fat bastard. Yeah, <laughs> living a level yeah. of sloth that only like Slash can relate to. <laughs> but they don't tell you with this Biggest Loser, they're just using these people, completely using them for ratings oh, because yeah. they they have a gym that they're working out twenty four hours a day. They they got someone watching every 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 bite they throw in their fat yeah. faces. And, and then the, finish the second they leave. Oh, yeah, that and then show. the show's over. They're like, all right, well, take care. Good luck to you. And they, they go back to working 60 hours a week. They got four kids to feed. And it's impossible. Oh, that's right that's a up. great documentary. They're just watching, like, their eyes tearing up as they're driving by Wendy's. Right. Trying to fight it. <laughs> right. And not go back to their old life. It's you know? so easy to do when you're on this, this farm they, they put you on out there in uh, L.A. Oh, but, but when you're yeah. driving past all those yeah. uh, fast food places. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Most of them. Calling your name. Yeah. Most of them end up uh, uh, gaining most of the weight, if not more, after they leave the show. But they don't want to acknowledge those people. They make believe they they, they never existed. Well, One guy that that's, that's when I get into fights with my girls because I always do that when they sit there and they're like, you know, and the people get kicked off because they couldn't, you know, spin a hula hoop for like nine minutes or whatever the hell they lost to the competition. All, just the, like, all the fat competitions you know, they make them do. Yeah, and they're like, I don't regret this. I really feel like I've made a change. Yeah. I and mean, I just sit there, yeah, going to be fat again. Absolutely. Gets all mad. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> a very small percentage learn the lesson and figure out how to make it work, to, you know, in their regular lives. Well, that, that's like on ESPN when they do that, that Nutra system with those guys. All those guys like, hey, if I can do it, yeah. anybody can do it. By the time they... they they edit the commercial and they get it on on the air. The the, the sports anchor's fat again. Yeah, like yeah. that John Krupp guy. <laughs> he looks like a Rottweiler. He's got one of those big Saint Bernard. <laughs> he's got all the yeah, face. all the punches. <laughs> and they literally they'll show it during the time when he's announcing sports. Sure. Whatever the hell it is they do. You know what I found out that they were doing because it's it's illegal to have a before and after picture that are reversed. You can't have somebody that lost weight um, and then gained a lot of weight. Uh, on purpose, and then put a before and after picture. Mm -hmm. They made that like illegal false advertising, whatever the hell they call. They it. were doing that. Y yes, years ago. But they found a way to get around that. They what the they do? The heroes of weight loss. Yeah, yeah. Putting on that raging bull weight. Yeah, put up, put on the weight. <laughs> eh, for some reason, they could take it off. But uh, they find athletes. They take out ads where they they look for athletes that have had injuries and weren't able to work out and that gained weight. And they take pictures of them uh, for the before picture, knowing that when once their injury is taken care of, they're going to get back in the gym and get back into shape. Oh, wow. And then they lose all the weight. They're back buff again. And it looks like they used this product to uh, get into shape. But what they really did was just get back into the shape they were in mm -hmm. before they had yeah. this injury. So it's just more, you know... More crap they're throwing. Well, I people. noticed that on the Biggest Loser, like the the first week, they just completely humiliate him. They put yeah. him up on that <laughs> scale, they make him take their shirt off, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stand there in all their awfulness. Let America see your fat. It's, yeah. a, it's a bra that weighs two hundred eighty pounds. Oh, it's, it's not bad enough. They get him down to the least amount of clothes possible. Oh, literally like a six foot creep. That's for our on pleasure. The side of their body. That's you know for that? our pleasure as we watch at home. But they, but the second they start losing weight and all that, they, the, the, for the rest of the time they have like a shirt on. Yeah, they, they never show. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> the loose skin horror that has to be <laughs> that they tuck into their sweatpants. I'm really being mean right now. This is oh, why not? It's, well, most people are out of shape, and I'm trying to sell tickets, so oh, okay. I'm offending most of the audience. That's true. <laughs> it's the holidays. It's fine. You. Eat up. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> comics have a mindset like that. <laughs> well, like Kenny says, we want to shut you up because I eat bad on the road sometimes. Like Kenny, I want cookies. Oh, treat yourself. He's always yeah. just treat that. yourself. You're worth it. Yeah, it's okay. You work hard. He's such an enabler. He's Kenny is the little <laughs> Kenny is the little voice in your head, which like when you don't want to do something but you know you're going to, that yeah. justifies it. Kenny's yeah. okay yeah. with it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Treat What's yourself. One? Do an extra push-up. Hey, go to the gym tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. You work hard all week. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bill Burr is going to be at Caroline's here in New York City. 212-757-4100. Uh, yeah. I know that number by heart. Oh, yeah. That's Tonight through Sunday. Place. I would I would try to remember Vinny's number if it didn't have ha-ha in it. Yeah, Vinny's number is oh, repulsive. It's ridiculous.
And we're not even going to tell you what his club is uh, called because he didn't buy advertising this week. So F you, Vinny. Go F Ooh. yourself. Yeah. It's all about Bill Burr, Caroline's, and we'll continue with Bill next. Opie and Anthony. We get very excited when Bill Burr stops by. We miss him. Why'd you have to well, go to L.A., too. man? Opie and Anthony. Because my life was too comfortable. <laughs> I know. You had to mess it up. Yeah. Some stress. Everything was great, and I was like, you know, yeah, I need to... Uh, Bird's going to be at Caroline's here in New York City starting tomorrow? Uh, tonight. Yeah, tonight. We're already at, at Thursday. Yes, oh, we short are. week for yeah. us. That's why. Okay. Yeah. It's like a Tuesday for Thursday me. Thursday through well, uh, Sunday night. There you go. Hey, uh, we were talking about Celebrity, celebrity oh, Rehab just yeah. before we went back on the air. Another great show that we should be talking about on this show. Oh, Steven yeah. Adler, I had no idea that he, he was that much of a mess. I mean, I've read the stories like everyone else, but to yeah. see him... Ah, uh, he's like my favorite drummer too. From all the, all those those, I wouldn't really call them a metal band, but just from that period, yeah, like sure. He's you know, like everybody had those huge drum kits. He came out, he just had a little four piece kit. But yeah, he had like a cocaine induced stroke. So now he's do that. He has like yeah. a, by doing a lot of coke, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess he tried to yeah, he tried after he got kicked out of Guns N' Roses, he tried to kill himself, which I think is totally makes sense. Yeah, like, you know, how do you go from drummer. playing giant stadiums sold out? To trying to put what he, Road Crew was the band he tried to put back uh, together, and you got to start over again in like yeah. the dives in L.A. and but didn't yeah. he get kicked out uh, because of the drugs? Yeah, moving <laughs> moving your own equipment. Imagine like you had a team of roadies. You could just play and then oh, yeah. leave, go to the hotel and just bang broads, best looking yeah. skanks from the eighties. That's it. All the all the <laughs> chicks that wanted backstage that would just kill for backstage. You just pick them. Get on the bus or limo back to the hotel, well, and there you are a few years later, packing your own equipment from some dump bar in L.A. Oh yeah, into your car. Yeah, just going. What, what happened? What happened? <laughs> just trying to. <laughs> you knock over the. You knock over your cymbal stand. You break a cymbal. You don't have a cymbal <laughs> yeah. deal anymore. No, no, now you play so with yeah. crack cymbals. Get yeah, there at Sam Ash. Can I get a cymbal? <laughs> well, well, cash out of your pocket. On Celebrity Rehab, they're saying that he's doing very well with the treatment. Good. And now he's he's saying, ah, I'm going to go back on the road. And and uh, Dr. Drew is basically saying if he goes on back on the road, he'll he'll be he's dead. He's done. He'll be dead. It's a real Another show where they use the people. I want to hear him play because he's got that speech impediment. You just sit there like... Can, well, can he still, like, yeah, coordinate? Play, yeah. yeah. It looks like it, how he moves. He's constantly moving like he's drumming, so. Yeah. But that, Did that, you see the one when his mother came on? Oh. Oh, that was great. Like, they're sitting there, like, he, like they're saying, until you get over your anger with your mom, yeah. you're never going to get past this. Oh, he had a so, mother issue? He, yeah. Yeah. She's sit, yeah, she kicked him out when he was 11. Yeah. 11? Wow. Okay, that's he, a little she, early. She had married some other dude, his stepdad, and he came home from school, and his stuff was out on the street. Because the stepdad was like the classic after-school special stepdad, <laughs> where yeah. he's just like, it's either him or me. <laughs> Don't leave me. Honey. Yeah, so she I'll put get his, rid of the kid. <laughs> she put his crayons and stuff on the sidewalk. So, whatever. Oh. So she, she comes into the rehab. At least that's his version of it, right? So she comes to rehab. And immediately she's crying, and he just goes, "Yeah, the fake tears again." <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So he's not over it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah, he was. He was actually killing. In a really sad way. <laughs> she goes, oh, Stephen, you look great. He goes, you said that when I was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> he had like a one-liner for everything that she had. Yeah. I'm like, this guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he just wasn't buying anything that she was saying. <laughs> then it ends with him flipping over the couch, the classic. I'm out. Yeah. 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 And I'm out of here. They didn't make up? I don't know. No. I don't know where they're at. Because they, no, they keep playing the same damn episode over and over again. I never know when the new ones are on. But What was she doing? Was she trying to justify the crap and he well, wasn't hearing it? Well, she Part of the she... treatment is to bring in the family members and right. get them to work out some of their issues. And... and she took control of his money and everything when he was like completely out of it. Yeah. Uh -oh. And now, yeah, so now it's like he's trying to get the money back. He's like, she's got millions from me. <laughs> yeah, doing that stuff. Oh, she's she's brutal. Seen, she seems like one of those mothers that like nothing is good enough like he was in guns and roses and i bet she, she could give a crap oh that was another great one-liner he goes yeah that's when she started coming around to the gigs <laughs> oh really <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome he was like <laughs> nothing impressed this woman it looks like well she she didn't seem to also be able to admit any sort of wrongdoing she said basically yeah. she's like you kicked yourself out with your behavior it's like lady dr was, drew what was i supposed to do yeah, he was disrupting old. the whole family yeah it's like, it's 11. It's 11. Send him to his room. That's not true, Dr. Drew. Yeah, she was awful. I and pretty he, much have the voice down. It's, it goes right through you. Yeah. yeah. She was. She's one of those people who gets lost in a relationship. 
had yeah. no job, and this guy was making money. He, selling his fish tackle or whatever yeah. awful business, whatever <laughs> loser she married. and then It's a great show, and they're all disasters, and none of them will uh, do well in the real world. Maybe one. Did you watch in the beginning when Gary Busey was doing, like, he was? He acted like he was there to help people? I'm could so not admit that he was on of Gary Busey. I am, you know what yeah. this stands for? <laughs> <laughs> but Gary Busey really thought he was in this to help everybody else out. Yeah, and he was in because he has mess. a problem yeah, too. No, but you end up feeling bad for him like he because they say him because he not wearing a helmet like it was he, a motorcycle accident. Yeah, he yeah. really did some sort of brain damage. Yeah, of course he did. He's a nut. So you can't like you can't hate the guy. I'm just say I don't hate yeah, I him. I'm just so sick of him showing up on these reality shows. I I uh, I, I really am done with reality shows. That's why it's a, a you know, I really don't watch a lot of them. Mm -hmm. When they come up, I know a lot of people watch them and stuff, but I, I'm I'm so sick of it. A reality show, if it was real in reality, just let the camera roll. But like you said, they put the music in. They try to tug on your heartstrings. Yeah. It's not reality. They direct these things. They write them. There's a writer. Look at the friggin' credits at the yeah. end. It, there's a writer's credit on yeah. a reality show. Let the camera roll. And, uh, uh, no, because if you do it that way, then you literally, to get five minutes of TV, you got to go through like 600 hours of footage. Oh, well. Which so, made the real world sorry. great because it was real stuff going on. And they it went on for months. They had to sit around. Now I hear the real world house is like barely a month. It's like two months. It used to be six months. Yeah, six months. Easy. And they would yeah. just camp out in the basement waiting for those special moments. And they were regular, like, people at right. the beginning. And now it's a cast, right. like that Laguna Beach show or one of those. Where yeah, there's yeah. the sexy guy. This, they're in the hot tub. And well, I think, I think they're out of ideas at this point. I saw one last night as I was falling asleep. It was uh, called Secret Millionaire. And on Fox. And, yeah, basically the gist is people who are millionaires hang out with poor people. <laughs> and I had to shut it off the second one of the rich people was just like, I had no idea people people live like this. It was, oh, it was, like, no. it was like trading places. Oh, it's the worst PR ever for white people. <laughs> like, that were all that out of touch. Like, I had no idea. And I just, I you know. never. And then the whole stereotype, too, that rich people have no problems. Oh, like, Mortimer. Like, nobody's getting molested in a mansion. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that only happens in, like, a crack house. Of it's course. like, come on. Yeah. It's uh, they by the way, the reality they call it assisted reality. Yeah, they just assisted it's called. reality. Assisted reality. I can't Massage. deal with it. It's the yeah. same show. Every show is the same show. I blame There's different I, ideas, I, but I blame the Osbournes actually. The Osbournes was such a great show, and then they didn't want to do it anymore. And everyone's like, "Well, we got to find the new Osbournes." And they tried it with the Hogan family and others, and it's like, well, well obviously we got to write material because they're not as uh, interesting Compelling. as the Osbournes. Right? I think so Sharon said there was, there was never a take two. It was that was no. what they shot. That was, that was what the it was. worst on these reality shows is when something happens, they put on this ominous music and show like someone turning their head and looking at the camera, and they're like, oh, they're all scared, and they're and you know that turn of the head was just like. Oh, I gotta go shopping later. Or something. <laughs> like, like it wasn't. It had nothing to do with that moment. I like there's they, these, there's these dramatic pauses that you know never happened. It's like, well, then why did you do it? Boom! Yeah. And then the person's <laughs> staring at them, just looking. Right. And you know, they, yeah, in, in reality, it was like, why did you do it? Because I felt like I it. I felt like, yeah. it. oh, okay, I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah. Yeah, but they make it into this big thing. It's all phony. I can't deal with it. What about when they have, I like when they, they clearly only have 12 hours of footage, but they stretch it out over an hour. So that literally, as you're going into commercial, it's like, well, then I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> and then when they come back from commercial, yeah. they start the whole fight over again. You got to sit there for another three minutes, just get to the power. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> it's like, recap. dude, you just showed this. That's a new thing. They're, this this is so a half right, hour though. show you're so and you're right. making it an hour. And you got to recap after a commercial. Yeah. That's Stop. like the stand up, huh? He knows what I'm talking about. Come on, back me up. <laughs> Round of applause if you ever ate an apple. Yeah. <laughs> hey, before, right, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Before we move on cele from uh, celebrity uh, rehab, that model is that oh is that a God. hot story? She is the best looking did, junkie I've ever seen. Does really? a, does, she was a supermodel. She was on the French cover of Cosmo. I guess that's really important in the business. And she, uh, she's very famous. You would recognize her pictures from uh, from years ago. Dude, she was so down on her luck and so addicted. She was, uh, she was hooking. She was hooking. No, she, wow. They got to that point. Yes, she was an escort. That turns me on. Rock. 
and and now she's trying to get her life together on the celebrity uh, rehab. But she lost it all, and she, she, she was she, she that up. She I didn't see that. Oh before. yeah, wow. she did. <laughs> Nice. Get a picture of her. It's Jimmy, can you imagine that? You know, you always pray yes. and it looks like the picture, and she actually shows up. <laughs> it's always actually her. She looks like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of messes are showing up? But there was Do they something... look like the picture? When you I've, go never, to, um... I've never hired, hired an escort. I Jimmy? always did eye to eye on the street. Um, Jimmy, do they look like the picture? Here's what happened, right? Ant knew that... Bill's a decent guy, but he didn't want to make it look like I'm yeah. just such a pig. So he had to be diplomatic, and he goes, "Well, Bill, what do you think?" Bill, Instead Bill, of going like he, the picture, I don't. Instead okay. of going right to the source, <laughs> let me look around the room. Yeah. Uh, Jim, just at random yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, this, this is how that should have went. Hey, scumbag! When they show up, <laughs> uh, sometimes they do. A lot of times they don't. A lot of times they don't. Yeah, some of the ads, the Photoshop, they'll Photoshop a head in. It's so obviously not them because the lighting is different. Mm. Uh, Here's the girl. You know what you should do, Jim? You should actually like make a copy of the picture with your printer and then they show it, show up just hold it up to their face and then just okay. shake your head nah, nah. Go nah. Ain't nah. beat it look at this girl she was so down on her luck she, she pop, started escorting and she's on celebrity re rehab find a hot photo and, they're uh, all hot what's her name amber smith amber smith amber smith yeah Let's see all right nah, that's, oh, nah. that's, nah, that's no, not that's not, not bad that's, that's not, not bad, bad though yes. there's way better pictures yeah no she's that. like naturally uh, well, like Gorgeous. Just go with the face right here to start. And she had to look at this, uh, look at this face, and this the, is showing and the body up matches. To your super eight at wow. four in the morning. Look at the face. Look at this. She's <laughs> <Your> super eight. <laughs> right. Look at this. She started. And she. Uh, the drugs got her to the point she was escorting. She's to, actually to get more better drugs. looking than that. That's yeah. Why'd she start thinking. doing uh, drugs? I don't even know. I think she was doing it the the whole time. Like no, a lot she of she models. was yeah with her mom. Her mom kind of got her into it. Her mom. I didn't hear that part. Ooh, that's oh modern. yeah. No. Huh? No, I'll tell you she what's brutal, hard. though, is if you see what her mom looks like, she looks like <laughs> Large Marge, and you're like, wow. You large expect, Marge. That's what she's going to look like. In the future. Yeah, the mom is horrific looking. <laughs> In the future. Well, if that's she keeps doing the future. drugs, she will keep the weight off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's bad when the uh, girls stop doing coke uh, and gain a lot of weight. Happened in the 80s to that girl that was, was she on? That um, uh, Not TJ Hooker, because that was, uh, what's her name? Heather the other Arthur? blonde. Heather. The other Heather. Heather Thomas. Was uh, just a coke fiend, and she, you know, she was nice and skinny and everything, and then uh, <laughs> she got all fat. <laughs> Stopped doing coke, she got all fat. Well, you, you know what's funny? Like junkies, like hardcore junkies, really are are skinny for life. Like Keith yeah. Richards, uh, yeah, all, all those yeah. rock stars. It's like Iggy Pop. The guy's shredded. He's like sixty two. He still <laughs> has abs. <laughs> Something about doing heroin. Yeah. He just, Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there she is. There's a picture of Amber's. But she might have been escorting. A lot of them escort. Like, porn stars escort. They call it doing privates. But a lot of them make $2,500 a hour. a corporate gig. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm exactly it. Tagging yeah. some guy from Exxon. Yes. <laughs> 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 they, uh, they get a lot of money. So she wasn't escorting, like, Craigslist escorting. Pro I'm guessing. Right. She's probably, you know, she might be getting three grand an hour. Like, you know, Playboy girls escorting. Oh, like a lot of cash, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like real money. I'm sure she You can basically make. rub one out from across the room. <laughs> She's standing. <laughs> Act like you're on the runway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do that little turn. <laughs> wow. All right. Maybe uh, no more naked pictures because it completely just stopped the show. Well, it distracts us a little I bit. I understand. When you see Google Amber oh, Smith okay. for some, uh, well, those are some big fish awesome nets. pictures. But what you do, though, when, you, when an escort shows up who's not the picture, I've only sent one escort away. And... Uh, she was. I, I wanted this blonde girl, and uh, and this brunette, who was kind of heavy, showed up, and she was nice. And I'm did like, the penis bother you, or no, no, no? She actually didn't have one, which <laughs> oh, bothered me. Oh, I'm like, wow. look, this said blonde, passable, and fully functional. Yeah. Explanation. <laughs> False advertising. It was uh, a really skinny blonde girl, and I said to the girl on the phone, "If the girl in this picture doesn't show up, I'm going to send her back." And she goes, "Oh no, it's her. Totally different girl." And the girl showed up, and she was nice. And I go, "Look." You're not the girl I asked for. You're very pretty, but I, I had it, and I showed it on the computer. This is the girl they told me was coming, and she was, yeah, they do that sometimes. Mm. Um, and I called the lady. I'm like, this is the girl you told me. Why would you send somebody else? You just lied to me. And she was, we'll put her on the phone. And the girl's like, okay, and she was going to leave. I just gave her 50 bucks for coming because I felt bad for her. Oh, Amazing. you were nice about it. It wasn't the escort's fault. She, it, I, it was a like, I asked for a skinny blonde. You are a fat brunette. No, I even said she's very pretty, but, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm like I had a, a particular thing for this one girl, and that's what you told me, and this, you know, I wasn't uh, a dick about it. Bastards. 
Yeah. I was going to call the police, but I figured... <laughs> yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah. I like how you called up an escort service. You're like, why did you lie to me? Yeah, most people just be like, uh, evening is a lie. Uh, this girl really doesn't like you. I'll go in, throw, throw, her, throw her a bang in, give her money, and then <laughs> have her leave while you're all disappointed and mad that you gave her money. <laughs> and then... And who I calls? just didn't feel like there was enough honesty. Yeah. Who calls? Jimmy, Jimmy wants scruples. <laughs> I do. Yeah, we need some, uh, you know... We want this to be on the up and up. honesty in this business. I'm bringing honesty back to prostitution. What kind of whorehouse are you running? <laughs> yeah. It's called the bait and Liar. switch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. It's called the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> I did. I filed a complaint. <laughs> what I wanted to dehumanize this one girl, and they sent another girl for me to dehumanize. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> no, but I was very nice. I've, I've actually taken a few that I didn't want. Oh, uh. Speaking of which, here's something. I, I You know, I actually late at night... I actually ordered something against oh, every every what principle. What are you doing? I oh, ordered no. the sham wow. What's the you sham wow? Ordered the, oh, dude, that's that? the biggest. You know I don't what? Know what dude, that is. When he took this. He takes this face cloth. He sticks it in an aquarium, and all the water <laughs> goes away. And then he rings it out over the sink. And the fish are coming out. It was incredible, dude. It's <laughs> I'm like. And he's like, you know what he got me? He goes, you'll never have to buy paper towels again. And I'm like, that's good for the environment. Aww. I'm getting one of these, right? First of all, I was on the phone for like three hours. Yeah, what did you like also to... sign up for CDs and, yeah. and uh, a I couldn't get off. I finally had, grill? I finally had to hang up. And, uh, dude, I came in. Dude, they're, they're possibly worse than paper towels. <laughs> dude, it's and called what it's a, a sham. What did wow. you expect? <laughs> what a sham. Wow. This guy, and wow is such or, a wow, lie. Wow, someone bought this. I've watched this uh, infomercial. My favorite part is like, you know, and the Germans make it. You know, make the Germans always make good stuff. You Do know, they? Yeah. yeah. Ask a few people in the 30s. Rockets. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I watched this infomercial. Look, he pours soda on this piece of carpet. A lot of it. Watch for the then, edit. Then look, look. Yeah, watch the edit. Look, it's dripping through this carpet. Then he takes the sham <laughs> wow and he placed it on top. Now, look, there's no soda coming out of the bottom anymore, by the way. He rolls it up. Look how much just came out because it was already full of soda. Oh, I, I fell for this hook, line, and sinker. And now look, Wait. now look, he pats it really hard, lifts up, lifts up the carpet. Look, it's dry. How do they not catch that? That the that it's a horrible Dude, edit. It's a horrid edit. And how come the table's not wet anymore? Nothing. It soaks because it up it's like the crazy. Sham. Wow! And look at all these white trash losers. And I actually bought this. They're was... at, they they went to like a county fair where the sham wow stand was set up and interviewed these fat white trash idiots Dude, why would you who are uh, these this? rubes, if you will. Bill? Are you lonely? Bill's are, there, Bill's I, are rude. I, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Give me your and number. The, you know what's funny? Is, it's, but I continue to use it, and every time I use it, I'm cursing my brain. Sir, up. sir, why don't you come up here? I have this fine <laughs> elixir for you. Right off the wagon. <laughs> your ancestors were in front of the <laughs> snake oil salesman buying this elixir. <laughs> Who's that guy from Green Acres? Mr. Genuine. Mr. Haney. Well, let me tell you, I got the sham wow. <laughs> oh, Mr. Haney. Mr. Douglas, it'll clean up anything. No, the I, sham I, I, wow. I, I bought some late. I bought that, uh, what, did, what did I buy? I bought the, uh, what that set it and forget it thing, which was great. Everything Showtime. is set it and forget it. Showtime Grill. Showtime Grill Oh, is that great. the one where he goes, set it, and the audience goes, and forget it. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. bought that? Turn on an oven and just walk away. Yeah, forget about it. Just forget just it. Forget about it, yeah. It's gonna, next thing is the firemen at yeah. your house hosing it down. Well, you're not supposed to forget it totally. <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing. That, that thing was great. Uh, really? It oh, worked? it was great. Yeah, that thing totally worked. But the sham wow. What thing, happened with the sham wow? I might as well be wiping up water with this plastic bag. That's about how good it is. You just you just move it around, dude. I'm on a hardwood floor and I can't get it all up. And I every, when did it sink in that? Oh my god, I was ripped off. The second I got it, and it smells bad. The whole thing, and I just and, but I continue to use it because. Were you so excited when the package came in the mail? Like, oh my sham wow is here. Oh, I was literally th expecting. I was gonna go stick it in the toilet to do a demonstration. <laughs> and see how much yeah. it absorbs. Yeah, check this out. And just ring it out to the top of the toilet. And you did this to conserve uh, and to not waste uh, paper towels. Yeah, and what I did was actually, you know, those things are probably not even biodegradable. Oh, I'm sure. You know, and the, this is a great scam too because I guess you can return it. A month, you know, yes, month in yeah. if you don't like Use it. But, it. Yeah. but the genius is, is that 1995, am I really going to go through the problems of, of repackaging this so and they're send, banking on. sending it back to Germany? That's mm -hmm. what they're banking on, that you're never going to yeah, return no, something I that's oh, so cheap, you're just going to take it. I might as hit. well use notebook paper.
<laughs> it's yeah. that bad. It's horrible. The well, wow sham. If you want to save uh, paper towels, just be neater. Yeah, Bill, what's wrong with you? Just don't be such let a messy. Me, let me tell you, I, I have a really bad habit of setting gla uh, glasses of water down on the floor, and it can literally be ninety feet away from me, and somehow I will forget, <laughs> and I will, yeah, I, 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 would, I just kick it across the room. <laughs> the other day, here's Break glasses. Here's how uh, uh, eco friendly I am. The other day, um, reaching into the fridge for a beer, of course, and uh, it falls out of the fridge and smashes on the floor in front of the. Um, in front of the refrigerator. Uh -huh. I calmly grabbed a full roll of paper towels, and by the end, I had a cardboard tube and a giant <laughs> pile of beer-soaked and glass-embedded paper towels that I just picked up and threw in the garbage, and everything was fine. It was an entire roll, brand new, <laughs> from the plastic to the cardboard tube, because I don't care. I know. <laughs> That's the worst. I'm not getting a sham wow. I don't mind. Like you, at least you're conscious. I'm not getting one. You're wearing one on oh, your yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> my sham wow on my head. <laughs> oh, that's good. I should get one. Uh, uh, Keep it soaked in water. Water my follicles. <laughs> well, we're not going to do better than that. So let's take a break. Bill Burr is going to be at Caroline starting tonight. Through Sunday, Bill, they gave you the Sunday, yep, too. That's crazy. <laughs> So how many? Two, four, uh, seven? Six shows. Thursday, like wow. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is six right there. On the uh, mind, Friday, the land. Two totally Saturday, right? And I, I don't know what Saturday. It's either two All or right. three Saturday. So you got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to see uh, yes. Bill Bird, Caroline's 212-757-4100. Opie and Anthony, yes. starring Jim Norton. <laughs> Opie and Anthony on your radio dial. Hanging with Jim Norton is going to D.C. today, I, I do believe, right, Jimmy? Yes, I'm in uh, D.C. at the State Theater in uh, Falls Church, Virginia. Ticketmaster, I, I don't know if there's tickets left. There might be. Friday night, I got two shows. Um, it's my only uh, D.C. appearance. Uh, first one since Monster Ray, D.C. Cool. area. And Bill Byrne Studio playing Caroline's here in New York City for people that are staying local. Yeah. As far as New York goes. And I got to say, congrats on your... Your Bruins having a good year there. Well, well, it's early. Pat's not so uh, not so good. They're doing great though for what they uh, for the situation they're in. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a successful season. Plus, you know, I have to admit, I, I didn't believe in Brett Favre, and Jets are right in it. Were they eight and four? Eight and four. Jets aren't going to win anything. Won five out of the, their last six. Yeah. And I'm sitting there when they made that move. Everyone else is running and getting the jerseys. I'm like, ugh. This is a horrible move. I'm actually, you know what? I mean, I hate the Jets. I, I don't even hate the Jets. I just hate that Mangini guy. You don't like Eric The Mangini? rat. That guy built his whole career filming people, and he rats out Bill Belichick. Yeah, good point. And that really isn't. I never met the man, and I know no idea uh, what they, went on behind the scenes. <laughs> no, but I think, the, I think the point you're making. You just made that up. You know what? The, uh, the point should be mentioned that all these guys did what uh, Belichick yeah, did. Yeah, so that's why it was good for, you know, actually, if there's any sort of good thing about Brady going down. It was just kind of made all that that stupid crap go away. Although I was pissed at the Titans when they're going eleven and zero, and people are barely even talking about it. It's like we were under a microscope. Yeah, the entire year. Well, they just took care of that. What's that? The Titans. Oh, and they took care of the Titans. Yeah, they took I'm care of that happy. little problem. I, I didn't want to see Brett Favre have an ugly season though, so that's cool. Yeah. Can I ask a question that's off the subject? What happened with John and Kate? Plus eight. Uh, Are you obsessed with this now? No, but I realized we didn't you guys talk gonna, about that. When Samikins went and did an interview. Uh, we're waiting for you guys to take a little peek. I oh. know it's going to be uh, painful, but you got to take a little peek will, at this absolutely. Johnny K plus eight. It's on all the effing time. I, I absolutely uh, I go, will. I go on YouTube and... Um, and watch uh, the, well, the the the, <clears throat> the real clips of her being a total bitch. Yeah. Oh, is she the worst? Well, bring Sam in here. Do you know the show, Bill? No, but I heard I heard the whole. Th I can't imagine if I was expecting a <laughs> child. You know, like they have like you always hear guys when they're in the in the in the delivery room and they like when the baby comes out they panic because they feel nothing and but then when the second they hold their kid. Then all of a sudden they get brainwashed. The, yeah, the, the, the love happens. comes out. But if, I, if she just kept pumping them out. I, I would feel nothing for all six of them, yeah, yeah, other then. than an unbelievable amount of stress. <laughs> yes, I would just be looking at their mouths like, ah, like you got to feed yeah. all those and and yeah. clothe them. And I was watching some clip on uh, put them all YouTube. in one crib, hope a couple get smothered. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, there's a tax deferment. <laughs> <laughs> Who was saying yesterday that they would film different episodes? Was it you, Jimmy? Just to get rid of some of these kids. 
Oh yeah, where you filmed the episode of them, uh, you know, like playing with a running car oh, in a garage. Right, right. <laughs> like, hey, we're gonna have him just play with the car in a closed garage. Basically, this running. guy John is in hell, so he he comes up with yeah. other ideas for hey, future shows. Skydiving children. <laughs> right. You know, just put him in a situation where something might happen. How can you carry? What size are they when six come out? You put oh. photos of cake uh. over all the outlets. <laughs> 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 Two pronged forks for them to eat it with. <laughs> she uh, she had eight kids with uh, two pregnancies, twins, and then six. Wow! Uh, and and not only that, she's a bitch, and she's got like uh, OCD stuff. Like she's uh, she a comes neat freak. off as this entitled, like so so entitled, just because she was able to drop so many kids out of that. I was gonna say distorted mess that used to be your womanhood. Yeah. Does she? <laughs> is, is it? Is it? Is she really just seems like she's a bitch, or is it because? Oh my God, I have eight kids and no, I have. they have footage. Yet. They have footage of uh, them when they were like just a happy couple, and and man, he should have got a clue that way back then. Poor bastard. No, oh, he he deserves it. Why? Because if you, if you, someone's just treating you like crap, man or woman, you don't leave them. That's it's on you at with, some with point. With eight kids, though, now it's it's at the but point no, where but she he's was stuck. being a, if she was being the big C note before he even uh, married her, then no, you know. she was kind of being cool. I think right. Not she, really. she was like uh, when they before they had kids, didn't they have kind of a loving yeah, relationship? Yeah, the signs were there. What are they? Right, right Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Sam loves yeah. this show. Tell well, us I all don't, about it, Sam. I don't love this show. No, you do. You secretly do. My girlfriend loves the show, and we share one bedroom. Uh -huh. So it's on all the time. You live in sin? Well, it's not nice. sin. It's yeah, hell. It's like Artist it's Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh... <An> ABA Afro. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and his ABA Afro. You got to get mutton chops with that, man. Uh, I'm telling you. Yeah, that look good. And a headband. He can't grow that. I might be. Able, I don't know. Yeah, I never he can't grow maybe facial hair. What's wrong with you? you I shave. Facial hair thing that could happen. Yeah. Try for some sideburns. Okay, I'll try mutton chop sideburns. All right, we're doing sideburns. All right. Um, but yeah, the show. She's. I don't think she was ever pleasant. It's not the kids can't make you that much of a bitch. Like she's that far oh, okay. gone that she could. There's no way she was ever like a nice yeah. girl. Yeah. God, you have that many kids though, and you're you're a guy. You have so much responsibility and work to do just to raise these kids, and then you have this this nag just pecking at you constantly, no matter what you're doing. It's not like this guy is uh, uh, constantly effing off. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like he's tr he's he's trying to like uh, Please, you know sir. run the uh, run a household kind of uh, support a family and stuff. And she is constantly just pecking at him, nip nip nip. Oh, what's what's the age difference between the twins and the uh, the sex? Well, talk? well, Sam would know because he watches the uh, show Sam, I know. religiously. This well, it's not religiously, but the sex tuplets are three. Mm -hmm. Last I checked, and I'm sure you say I think, even though I th we know. You and know. I, yeah, I think I think the yeah. twins are seven. Yeah, you maybe think, huh? seven months. No, seven years old. The twins are seven years old. Seven so. years old. Okay. Yeah, and before uh, you break. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jay in Huntington, there's a John and Kate spinoff in the works. Yes, uh, John and Kate plus Yates. <laughs> did that yesterday? <laughs> I don't know if no. we did not. I said something about go to Houston. I don't think I yeah. rhymed it. I should have. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we got some, uh, some, some Kate audio here. Yeah, I went through some of the shows and found some of the best examples of who she is as a person. Listen to this, Bill. Great. It's not, it, it's not bad enough that they have eight effing kids. I gotta put this back in the car. Joel, get off my leg. Honey, I gotta go to the car. I said that. Oh, Lord. John, turn around, Leah, and show Daddy your dress. He doesn't even care. I'll fix your dress. He did say fix her dress four times. Well, Let's go this way. He didn't even hear me still. All right, fix I said dress. fix her dress. I think what we're gonna do. Is Oh my God! <laughs> uh, that's it. I got. I started shaking. She had already fixed the dress, and she was just driving home the point that she told him to, and he didn't do and he it. He didn't. And then he she pawns it off on the kid. Look, look. Yeah. You know, look, look. Yeah, 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 he didn't want to look at your dress. God. Yeah. Yeah, but as a mother, though, if she's got how many times can she? It's like if she's got to fix the dress one time. If she says, "Could you fix the dress?" Why isn't he helping her out? Because he's probably doing twenty other goddamn <laughs> things. Right? This dummy. Yeah. It's probably. It's to keep her happy. Just changed his 50th diaper of the day. <laughs> oh, I was a clip I was watching yesterday. Just little bow-legged kids in diapers running around. Ugh. 
I get Dude, you like literally... a panic attack when I'm listening to that because I can actually, I almost put myself in that position and what it would feel like. It's such an alien way of life to me. It would be like doing anything that's completely different, like moving to friggin' uh, India yeah. for me and, and looking could... around. Is if I, I owned a farm, is the only way you can have eight kids if you're like the Waltons. You yeah, like you don't Kentucky. care if you lose one or two to yeah, like a well. Yeah, yeah, you have your own well something. water. Yeah. Exactly. You can go deer hunting. And they, you know, one falls in the well, you just, oh, well, we got eight more. Or if they get loud, you put Grandpa up in the top floor with a cigarette. <laughs> Remember the Waltons? House burned. Yeah, well, oh, that was, Yes. I was uh, trying to picture some sort of torture there. Did he drop the ashes down through a hole? <laughs> no, he just burned the house down, the doddering old fella. <laughs> Hey, uh, the next one, well, th what, they're going to go on a romantic date? Oh, yeah, well... They find time to be romantic, Bill. Yeah, sometimes, sure like... Sure they do. Yeah. Maybe on an anniversary or for Valentine's Day, John and Kate decide to get romantic and have somebody come in and take care of their thousand kids. Oh. Yeah. Louise Woodward. Uh, so we can leave early and go to our luxurious dinner date. Lovely. John, are you going to be ready someday? He takes longer to get ready than I do. Who and that's cares? Really John, please help me instead of playing with toys. By the way, when she says playing with toys, she means going and picking up the kids' toys that are on the floor. Right. Oh, so, yeah, he was playing with them. Then. I would have kicked one right into her face. I would have lobbed a Tonka truck right into her face. He's doing chores, but since yeah. they're not this specific chore that she asked for at that moment... He's bad. Well, it almost so sounds bad. like he's doing chores to avoid going out there, though. It's like she's got a, a romantic night planned, and he's like, he is kind of like just taking his time. So what it takes him what? longer than her? Who cares? Why what, would you have a romantic biggie? night with a woman who's who squirted out eight kids and two pregnancies? Oh, really? What what is that going to be a treat <laughs> when you get home and get to the fun part? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It takes time to tie the board to your ass. <laughs> 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 oh. And finally, uh, just one more for today. What, okay. what do we got, Sam? Well, which one is it? Is it the last one? Yeah, yeah. I think this is the one Mike actually found it on YouTube. Um, what is she? They're getting ready, I think. They're always getting Kate ready. Kate treats for... John like a retard. Yeah. That's yeah. what it says here. Yeah, that's what it is. She's treating him like a, like he's retarded, like she needs to walk him through everything. And I have recently, um, we've collectively decided that I need to be home. They're wearing their nice shoes. What did I tell you the other day? <laughs> When we go away, they wear their nice shoes. I don't understand Boring why you ring. ask me. Who cares? I do. Hey, I you why do you ask every time we go away? Which shoes are they wearing? Um, Kate. Lala. Oh, this is a wonderful day. Maybe I'll be happy to go Hey, Kate, when are you going to pull the stick out? Because it's getting a re really annoying. I didn't hold my tongue. I just said what I, was on my mind. Oh. I thought you had. Oh, what a brave guy. Yeah, yeah, finally. <laughs> You gotta pull line? the stick out. Why don't you pull the stick out? Like yeah, well, she's got a stick up there. You well, know? While she's trying to get the kids ready, all of a sudden he's accusing her of being stiff. Well, apparently there was a, a problem with the shoes. Exactly. What was the problem with the shoes? He's exactly? asking the same dumb questions every time. She's already answered. <laughs> he said, are He they does gonna... sound a little idiot. He sounds like a moron. He's a dope. He said, are they gonna... he's stupid. He hooked up with her. Are they going to wear the nice shoes? And she goes, well, what did I say? I said, every time we go out, they wear the... And he went, nice shoes. Why does she have to quiz? You know something, you bitches? Why do you got to quiz? It's like, what what shoes uh, are they putting on? Well, uh, didn't I tell you? To just say it. <laughs> right, I obviously Say don't what know. shoes. But sure. Don't give me a quiz as to why I should remember what you said. And, well, 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 when, when they go out and it's to a nice event, what did I say? All right, I'm an idiot. No, honey, I'm sorry. You're not compelling. Yeah. yeah. I forget everything you say right after you're done saying it. Exactly. Just say it. What shoes do they wear? Oh, the good shoes. Thank you. No argument, no problem, but it's got to be, oh, now, I told you this a while ago. Now the, here comes the quiz. Here comes the quiz. Well, you get tired of answering the same questions. Like, oh, Kate has, you're a bitch, too. No, Kate has said this to him, and he's not. <laughs> what's he doing? Get the nice shoes. i, I got to go with Jim here. He, the guy does sound like I would be yelling at him after about five minutes. How would you what? remember anything with eight monsters running around? This guy, it's not. he's not just sitting down for a second. Yeah, you know what? He has retard sperm. It's a little extra strong. That's why they had. That's why they had eight yeah. kids. No, they were on uh, fertility drugs. Yeah, which oh, is that was? You know, brilliant, oh, yeah. great. Did, did they science? There's science yeah. for you. There's a reason you're not supposed to have children. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not having kids, 
You go to the doctor to have a bunch of kids. Now you have more kids than God wanted you to have. God wanted zero. You yeah, now they, have eight because of modern science. You're not supposed created their own traffic jam. Yeah, in <laughs> 20 years when they all get cars. You're not supposed to eat every grape either. You know, you should like pick and choose which ones you're going to keep. Right, in there. there are some rotten ones. <laughs> right, you leave them in the bowl and throw them away. That's right. This is more. You don't than, eat every cherry. This is you more discard than, a few. You know what I'm saying, there, Kate. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, Jimmy. This is more than a fertility drug. You would actually strip her clothes off and then drag her by the ankles through manure. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the rest of the retard clip. Really, really annoying. I didn't hold my tongue. I just said what I, was on my mind. I thought she had a bug up somewhere. and A bug? No, sorry, a stick. Somewhere, and I just said it. and He's not I regret say it saying now because he I... He does not talk that way to me. Oh, <laughs> God damn this. Oh, she doesn't understand anything. She doesn't understand what real men are like then. What real honest men are like. You're a bitch. He told you you're being a bitch. And, and he's not to talk to you like that. Who are you? You're a goddamn water slide. Yeah. <laughs> This you is, disgusting mess. This is our our latest. How do you obsession. feel about it, Anthony? Oh, I hate this, this woman. This is why I, I love hate Wayne. her. Well, Sam got to talk to Kate from John and Kate Plus Eight yesterday. Wow. Yep, I went down and got the exclusive interview with her. She was in town, literally a half a block from here, and uh, Sam yeah. went and because they didn't adopt him. Yeah, <laughs> looks so adoptable. <laughs> how was your time with Kate from John and Kate Plus Eight? Oh, it was great. Really, uh, you could tell the warmth in her heart with the first clip because I asked her like. What do you think has made this obsession take off? Like the way people are just getting obsessed with it. It's a fair enough question. And I mean, the warmth in her heart for all the fans and going into detail and stuff is outstanding. All uh, righty. Right. <laughs> we got to take a break, though. We have a quick break we got to take, right? You want to do it that way? Yeah. We have to, I think. Just, just, yeah. just yeah. All right, and the phones uh, are lit, we, so. We'll be hanging here. It's all like right. a big yeah. teaser. Big it's like tease. a reality show. Well, we got. And, well, we got to go on the phones, too, because uh, ants still want to have sex without condoms. I hate this lady's coming in. Get this lady some Christmas Clean shoes. Clean that out like a clogged uh, bathtub drain. <laughs> Kate is <laughs> exactly... Pull out all that hair. <laughs> <laughs> My ex. Uh, imagine how she is off camera. Said you're not on BCN. Well, we'll get to that one. John needs to be introduced to someone... Someone, whatever, and John and Kate is my future. Oh, good. Is Lucky someone getting you. multiple births uh, for Christmas? Lucky you. So we'll have Sam's exclusive interview with Kate after the break. Opie and Anthony. Bill Burr, Caroline's, all weekend long. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. we got to get out of here and go to uh, the other place in a few minutes. Bill Burr at Caroline's all weekend long. Uh, Sam did What's the Haps with Kate from John and Kate Plus 8. Yeah, I got her. And uh, before that, though, Wayne has been holding on. I don't want to lose him. Wayne Franklin Square, he uh, he says that this is his future. Wayne, you're going to have multiple uh, births? Well, I'm, I'm out of his family. What's up, boys? How you doing? Uh, hey. I'm, I'm out of his family. I married my wife. She's a great person. She is an Irish woman, so she's kind of angry in general. But she's the most beautiful person I know, and I know Anthony's probably getting sick by me saying this. Yep. And um, it's just that I... That uh. marriage is... <laughs> And I just, up on I don't know, I'm so petrified and I'm scared because I know we want to have kids and I just, I'm afraid I'm going to kill myself one day because <laughs> my wife is going to just turn into a bitch. And, but she's, I think she's not. She'll probably listen and have to kill me when I get home, even though I don't actually so have you're gonna have a, You're going to have a kid. You're not going to have eight. Yeah. I, Never There's know. a big it's difference. It's family. What do you think's going to happen? Just yeah. treat her with respect. Now, I just jerk John asking her if she's got a <laughs> stick somewhere. Oh, I hate this woman. <laughs> Let's go to Beth in the Bronx. Beth, she's laughing. <laughs> What's up, Beth? <laughs> you know, I just want to call you guys. Um, um, Opie, congratulations on your wedding. Oh, thank you. Um, and Anthony, congra congratulations on your hair. I just had to say, <laughs> at, at least her husband tells her. What needs to be told? If my boyfriend didn't tell me when I was being a B, I would hate him for it. And when he's a pain, I tell him he is. That's what a relationship is. If you're not honest, you're going to hate the other person. Yeah, but constant like just demeaning each other is is not. Uh... Oh, no, no, definitely not. Not demeaning, but I mean, you know, if you're a B, you're a B, and and you, you say know, bitch. say it like it is. Yeah, you can say bitch. You just can't say. Uh... What, the double yeah, FCC I, I didn't know what you know. FCC gets a little upset about, and I love you guys, so I don't Holy want you smoke. off the air. All right, thank you. Take care, boys. Bye. Right. What? It's just the amputee. Oh, no, 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 no. She had fallen. I thought they were showing the falling. Oh, clip. 
Look at these all, all women sprinting with uh, one real leg and one, one fake one leg. leg. A couple of them are in that bad. And see, this is what we were talking about earlier. Look, it, it's. If, if, you, if, you, if you have to lose a leg or an arm, you got to go with the leg. No, we oh, were yeah, saying that. They, they don't have the arm thing figured out. We were yeah, saying that hideable. exact thing earlier. But if you see these uh, ladies running from the waist up, you couldn't tell that they had fake, a fake leg. They on. would kick your ass in a race. Of course they They'd would. They'd kick your yeah. ass. With Not if I unhinge that thing, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Put an electromagnet in the track. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care, kangaroo. <laughs> All right, we got to get back to Kate. So, Sam, did uh, what's the hatch with uh, Kate from this Johnny Kate? Plus you didn't episode. talk to her like that, did you? What's the haps? Well, yeah, just I mean, I wanted to relate to her a little bit. I was just trying to be friendly. Yeah. Right. Here but, we go. Yeah, <laughs> and she's in New York promoting. Like she's famous for. Ha well, yeah, there were people this lined up. up country man. People lined up around the block to see this chick. <sighs> she's a mom. She's a hero. So we're here with uh, with Kate oh. from Johnny Kate Plus Eight. Kate, what's the haps? Who what? What's the haps? I don't know about this lingo, but um, I'm here actually with PNG, um, the Brand Saver Live uh, pop up store. Um, it's here until December 11th. What do you think it is about uh, John and Kate Plus Eight that's kind of created such a phenomenon? To be honest, I have no clue. I, I, I'm just doing my job. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sam's really good at these interviews. Uh, I know exactly. You're setting her up yes. nice. Yeah. Some Getting her comfortable. Questions. Right. He's just, he's just throwing the jab out there. Sure. But she wasn't even, like, appreciative of, like, a hundred people who had showed up to this yeah. corner store. She was I just don't like, know this lingo. I don't know. I'm doing my job. Yeah. I'm just... She's, she wasn't smiling. She wasn't friendly. reminding me of... Who was that, that figure skater when she was riding with Mickey Mouse going, oh, my God, this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they had audio of that. Yeah, yeah. Is that Kerrigan? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, she's riding with Mickey Mouse in some parade. They had her mic, and she's just like, oh, this is so stupid. This is just stupid. It is stupid. Yeah. Right with a big That's fake it. mouse, some struggling actor in there, <laughs> <laughs> lying to children. Uh, she was right. Some pedo was in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's. Uh, but I, I like. I look. I like the fact that she was honest. What's the big phenomenon? I don't know. Well, Sam. Kate we tells like that. it is. Sam asks her about her treatment of John, right? Well, yeah, and then I kind of started to talk about the reviews of the show, and and and, and setting her up that way. All right, here we go. What's it been like to go from a private to a public figure? Um, I struggle with it. Um, I'm thrilled that people are thrilled to see us, but it does make everyday life a little difficult. How does it make you feel when people criticize you for being overbearing or emasculating John or things like that? <laughs> I honestly do not pay attention. I know in my heart I'm doing the best that I can, and we're just parents raising our kids um, to be On productive, loving, wonderful, hardworking individuals. <laughs> Oh, she sounds terrible. Wanting to I raise her kids. She loves it. Everybody loves when they show up. She's, this lady's terrific. <laughs> She's seething, though. But, yeah, and that's the problem. As soon as that question was asked, yep. that's when her people started rushing me out. Her people? That's when, people. What, the eight children? Because she yeah. shouldn't have people. That's when I started getting, uh, you know, all right, we got to go. We got we, we to gotta do this thing. She, she got to go. She Exploitation, man. Making a living off eight kids like this. Is that all the kids? Any more kids? No, yeah, yeah, I got oh, one more. Question. Here we go. Uh, and finally, was there a point once the kids came along that that the relationship changed at all, or has it always been steady? Because there almost seemed to be a point that John almost got defeated. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> so wow! Pissed. I've never heard one word wow. put a point across so. You're so pissed. You have to use it as a sound clip. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Yeah, that one's a machine. Really? really? Oh, really? I gotta hear that again. Oh, lad. <laughs> you know how many times a poor bad. husband hears that really? Oh, yeah. When he oh, says yeah. something, she just... <laughs> really? You gotta give it up. She is, she's not trying to hide any sort of <laughs> no. pissed off or well, ugliness or anything. She's not sugarcoating her real she personality. You like John. Yeah. That's the thing. And she had no kids with her. It was just her by herself alone. But she wasn't relaxed. She wasn't like... It's not the kids. It's her. Did mm. she look pretty, though? She's a pretty lady. She actually wasn't oh. bad looking in yeah, person. she is. Stop. Smart hairdo? Uh, she had yeah. like jeans on. Me. No, she had a very smart uh, pantsuit on. Pantsuit, of and, course. And, and short, gelled, spiked hair. You know, Not like spiked, but... I guarantee they're, ha they're trying to have another kid just to keep this dumb show going. Oh. I guarantee it. No, because it won't rhyme. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Plus, you can't spell blessings with another a nine. Another time plus nine. Does that rhyme? Mm. Uh, rhyme ain't funny. <laughs> yeah. Here Actually, we go. it doesn't. 
<laughs> I missed that. That's hilarious. Uh, Sam, were you a little nervous with the really? On the show. Yeah. <laughs> she stares right through you uh -huh. when she's got this cold blue stare. Wow. She's very intimidating. I wish she, she slapped your face. <laughs> I thought she was going to. Oh, God. Oh, I, she good. wants to raise her kids to be loving people, though. There's no what's wrong with this lady. You, you know I love you, Sam, but, man, a nice slap of, she, from Kate would have been you beautiful have commented, for our show. should have commented on her lasagna belly <laughs> <laughs> um, being all stretched out. Did That's you, the thing. I wasn't even, like, this question wasn't even as bad as I wanted it to be, but <laughs> I had, like, right, one right. question left. So. Here we go. Uh, and finally, was there a point once the kids came along that, that the relationship changed at all, or has it always been steady? Because there almost seemed to be a point that John almost got defeated. Really? <laughs> um, I think that what you're referring to is the fact that um, life with eight kids is difficult. It was a surprise. It was not anything oh, we ever it? had planned. We had to adjust quickly. Um, and we're doing the best that we can. Mm. Hi, yeah, she sounds terrific. Would <laughs> uh, you date her, Jimmy? Really? Yeah, I mean, look, she's uh, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people are intimidated by a strong woman that doesn't take any gunk oh. or bunk. <laughs> she's what? She's doing the best she can. <laughs> really? 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 Oh. Oh, good job, Sam. And then they rushed you out because oh, obviously yeah. you were revving up and... Yeah, you know, I was trying, you, and the you just started getting uh, going there. I always get the publicist to like me in the beginning, and then by the time the interview's over, they won't talk to me because you're a little in cherubish. Yeah, and so I'm, you could go up, and they go, "Ah, oh, here's a young lad trying to make his way into the broadcast business," <laughs> and then you come up and you're a sarcastic <laughs> ass. Yeah, they think you probably work for like a college radio station. Yeah, all right, let the kid have a couple questions. I, I think they were nervous because I was like, "I'm here with CBS Radio," and they were like, "Okay, yeah, do you have any credentials?" And I was like, "No." But, you know, it's right up the street, blah, blah, blah. And they asked me four times if I, you sure you don't have, like, any credentials at all or a business card? And I was like, no, not on me. But I'm sure I could. And, okay, all right. And they let me in anyway. Well, okay, that's not. We got to get Sam some credentials. Yes. Yeah. Well, sure. You need credentials, hat. Sam. Just get him a hat with one of those little things that says press. <laughs> yeah. In the little yeah, yeah, uh, hat like band. Oldie time fedora with the card sticking out. <laughs> yeah. I'm with the press. Here to get the scoop. <laughs> Those old cameras. The scoop. <laughs> He's got to get the scoop. <laughs> From Kate. <laughs> From stupid Kate. Uh, we got to get out of here. Bill Burr, Caroline's all weekend long starting tonight through Sunday, 212-757-4100. Jimmy, uh... State it, Theater in Falls Church, Virginia. All right. Uh, Friday night, two shows. Uh, one of them, I believe, is sold out. They might both be, I'm not sure, but go to Ticketmaster. Nice. And uh, I, I will be uh, in D.C., Friday night, and now we're off to Sirius XM. That's right, and Bill Burr will be filling in for you tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, I'll like be in the old days. Way. If we're here, well, we'll be somewhere. But if this is our last show for regular radio, it's been fun, and we'll pop up again sometime. <laughs> we just want to say goodbye every day, because for once, just I want to be case. able to say goodbye to the listeners. <laughs> Ugh. All right, we're out. Yep. All right, we continue with the Opie and Anthony show. Bill Burr in studio going to be with us tomorrow, too, which is very, That's very right. cool. Nice. Wearing your NFL players hat. Yeah. You don't want to commit to anybody? No, I uh, ended up, you know, doing stand-up. and met some guy who works for the union, and he got me some free stuff. All right. Why not a Pats hat, hats. though? He couldn't get you a Pats hat. No, he got me some. All right. You just want to wear the... This just the latest. Well, you know, I always end up wearing them to the gym. And then they get all salty and disgusting. And then, like, <laughs> I never have, like, yeah. the good hat that I'm wearing. I just... Whatever hat I'm wearing, I just wear it everywhere. Uh, I actually uh, throw mine in the washing machine. Oh, you do? Every so often. With your do-rags? You have to. No, not with my do rag I don't plan on wearing the do-rag much, uh, much longer, as don't a matter of fact, tomorrow. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's left eye. Left eye. There you are. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have the uh, stitches coming out tomorrow, so I uh, go back to wearing my hat. Mm -hmm. What's up, Jimmy? Nothing. Until, until some hair grows in. On the fucking monk, the monk spot on That's the back I'm of my right head. Now, early '90s R and B show. Oh, show yeah. Bill the spot. Never what? gonna get the it. Monk. Never gonna get show, it. Show, show Bill because we monk. don't get to see Bill often. The the monk. Uh, see, he's okay, very open go. about what uh, is here going on. Here, look at all that. Wow, it's actually coming yeah. in. Yes, looks it's very all, natural. That there was nothing there. That's crazy. There's nothing there. You know what? That really does. And look then bad. and then over here. This like yeah, look at that. They increase the uh, hairline. You, they the reseeded you. They put there, same thing. But uh, that's very like 
<laughs> nice. What did you do? Did you come on my back? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it actually does look good. It's I mean, creepy. It doesn't look like plugs. It looks like you just have, like, you shaved there. And yeah, it, just it looks comes like back it's in. growing in from, it's like, a shaved past, head too. or something. Yeah. That's what it looks Ooh, like. Oh, I love to duct tape that. I was like, gonna <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours. Just yank it out of my head. Yeah. Ten, Ten hours come out of all surgery my, out my the window. All my follicles had come out. You'd be laying there holding your head just like fucking Leonard Lawrence yeah. after a fucking blanket party. <laughs> oh. 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 My favorite line in all that is, why? 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 Because you're a fat, a stupid lump of shit I love that doesn't know how to play well with your other soldiers. Hey, I love Cowboy. Hey, just Ralphie a bad dream. I didn't too. say that. What Shut up. Do? that you're saying that about Ralphie. We should, we should drug Jesus. Anthony and bring him to one of those Asian joints and have it just waxed off. Oh. <laughs> oh, after all that time and money. Give him the date rape drug. Right. That it would just suck. Take care of our pal. Down legless. Right. That hey, would really suck. Uh, Bill's a big sports guy. and uh, Danny, Bill. I need your help with this. I really don't know what uh, the... Uh, Danny just got his finger in the door. Yeah, I, I, I saw the whole thing, and I started this. laughing. It's not It's, it's not all. like that door weighs a thousand pounds either, so you, you should be all right. <laughs> nice chunk of skin. Yeah, it's not like a little light yeah. pantry door. It doesn't build up a lot of momentum <laughs> no, when you barely move it. All. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, literal gym. <laughs> As the air is sucked out of the room and the door starts slamming on your fucking hand. Why'd you do that? I don't know what I did. But wow. Honestly, I have, no, I have no idea like how I could have physically have done that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what's this NHL audio? Oh yeah, I found this uh, this morning. Uh, basically, just because of the whole uh, the banning of uh, what's his name now? I can't uh, Sean Avery. Yeah, Sean yes. Avery for saying sloppy seconds. I mean, it was so it was Give such a, a little break. nothing thing. And this is just a typical. Wait, wait, before you jump in, because Bill had a great line in the office. Sean Avery, you know, gets suspended for sloppy seconds, but he doesn't yeah, get yeah. suspended for t trying to like, you know, end people's careers on yeah, the ice. Yeah, trying to blow up people's <laughs> right. knees. That's fine. That's fine. You know, five minutes maybe, four right. minutes roughing. My Give you a boarding call. <laughs> right, but my... you say sloppy seconds. All right, now wait a minute. This <laughs> no, is the NHL. This is the NHL here. <laughs> you have, yeah, there's dignity here. Yeah. Yeah, and these are you know these are two professional athletes, and you know that there's trash talking in every single sport, mm. and this is just an example of some of the stuff that I'm sure goes down on the ice pretty much every game. The pussifying of America absolutely. Continues. Now it's, it's oh. hit hockey. Come, come on, a break. Yeah, why, why is, if anybody from the NHL right. is listening, just accept the fact that you, you're a rogue sport. You're never going to be as big as baseball. Yeah, it's not going to be <laughs> America's sport. And it's great. That's Have you what gone makes... to a hockey game lately? Oh, They're it's... trying to be fucking family friendly. It's just driving me nuts. Hockey's back though, man. It's way better than it was before the strike. They're starting to allow them to fight a little bit more and stuff, but are they? Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, just don't call I think, anybody I think it's name. great again. I think the NHL yeah. is great again, and I. But yeah. they're, they're still doing that a little bit of that crap where a fight starts, and they're real lazy about getting the camera over to it. Yeah. Oh and come like, on! Well, you know what? There's kids watching it, and you don't want to encourage that. <laughs> Shut up. Does it look like uh, the, like old Jerry Springer episodes where they only cut to them fighting when they're not fighting? Yeah, they yeah. Cut away to fight they to the went crap. to that through that phase <laughs> until the ratings took a no, shit. No, they're, they're still doing they're doing a much better job, but they do it a little yeah, bit. I'll tell you, the, the, you the, the Dallas Stars are one of the most fun teams to watch just because <gasps> they they got that was it Steve Ott? They got two two animals. guys. Yeah, just they got animals. Just starting shit. Yeah, they and just it's got just, animals. Uh, They're bringing back the animals. You can tell those guys they can barely skate. They they have one job: get on the ice and beat the shit out of somebody. Oh yeah, and the goal, I miss those days. And the goal scorers are getting annoyed. Like M Mike Madonna after one of the games is like, you know, if this is the way it's going to be, I got to go get a desk job or something. Oh yeah, there. okay, shut up. <gasps> Claude Lemieux's uh, coming back with the Sharks. Uh, yeah, forty three years old. <laughs> oh my God, forty three playing hockey. Uh, God, that's yeah, crazy. He, yeah, exactly. We were talking about that earlier. Like, get out of bed. Can't even go ice skating. Never mind having people like hitting you and having to do something. I mean, just going ice skating. Oh, you, you, you know you're gonna fall down one time, and you go, you go, next day you wake up, you got that that red and purple <laughs> bruise, <laughs> just burst blood vessels that'll never mend right. Yeah, like six months later. <laughs> Well, speaking of which, we go back in time and we get some trash Ooh, talking. We do that. What yeah, is this is Ryan? actually from uh, I believe this is from like uh, playoffs from like ninety ninety one season. And uh, it's just uh, it's two two players just going at it. I, I don't know the history of the clip. I don't know why they were trash talking each other, but this is just an example of stuff that I'm sure goes down almost every NHL game. Meanwhile, people are getting suspended for for dumb words that they say. Well, why yeah, were these okay. two trash talking each other? I don't know. That's just a I'm playoff. Just <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! I fell for it. Can we not uh, listen to the show? <laughs> yeah. uh, Tim in Cleveland. Before we play the clip, he's got a good point here about trash talking. Tim. 
Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey Timmy. I, I, hey, I was just wondering, uh, you know, we got a big deal about this, and nobody seemed to have much of a problem when Shaq asked Kobe how his ass tastes in front of a club. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the best <laughs> clips right. ever. How's my ass taste? Yeah, that was a biggie. Yeah, he probably should have been suspended for that one. Yeah, Shaq is hilarious. <laughs> he really my ass taste. He let him have it. You know where he's been hanging out? Uh, he had an incident recently, too, in, in uh, Gnome's place. Not not the comedy cellar, but around the corner. I think the fat black pussycat, Gnome owns that. Yeah. And Shaq has been, uh, has been hanging out there. Uh, you know, yeah. You know, um, yeah. And there was some kind of an incident where some guy tried to piss on him or some shit like that. What? What did they do? That's why just, would you do that? Why would you try Looking to piss for a quick on Shaq? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Punch yeah. me. Let's get this over with. I right. need some money. Right. <laughs> need some quick cash. <laughs> All right. Here's the clip from 9091. Yep. You must be killing your fellow. You're on the fucking ice, you faggot. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. <laughs> it goes on, but we got to. The fucking ice, you faggot. faggot. That's my gun. I, for some reason, there was some bust of the big um, uh, drug bust, and the reporter's holding up a gun that I actually own. <laughs> Looks like a suitcase. Perhaps they were... <laughs> He's holding up one of the weapons. I own that gun. That's the FS, right? It yeah. looks like a suitcase for a French horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you oh, shoot for like, that or thing? For like a drill. Right, some, sure. That's hysterical because obviously he's holding it up for some kind of dramatic purpose. Like, and here is one of the weapons that we're seeing. It's like, I got that. <laughs> yeah. I own that motherfucker. <laughs> it's one of those video game guns you own. Yeah, it was. Yep. No, those things are great. All right. Hey, who, who is this guy yelling? I don't know. We don't uh, know the, I, 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 not stupid me. Know? I wrote it on the on the actual on the desk, desk itself. Yeah, I I'm think sorry. that was Paul Hargis. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Stevens Kevin Stevens and, and Brian. Brian. Oh, Brian Trotier. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Sure. Well, that was uh, Trots. So I'm glad is. you said it because I would have said Trottier. No. Trottier. That's <laughs> Trots. What that guy? Remember he had all the street hockey gear. He was making a killing with that stuff. He got old, like they all do. Was that Dennis Potvin? One of those Islander guys had it. Beat your wife, Potvin. <laughs> Future wife, but by the chance that you used to hear at uh, not used to. They still oh, they do that still one. do that. Oh, no, the fucking <laughs> Rangers, they they were relentless. <laughs> he hasn't been on the ice in twenty years. Yeah. Celtics fans did that to <laughs> to Jason Kidd when he got he got busted for uh, you know whatever domestic <laughs> yep. violence. Somebody literally made a sign and had like a like a cross and literally had hung a wife beater from it. Oh shit! Oh yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it was brutal. What a brilliant thing, though. It's just a T-shirt. What a yeah. brilliant... I'm sure they that guy got kicked out of the uh, arena for doing that. That stuff's God great, God forbid though, the fans man. try to have a little fun. Yeah. They ban the, the Boston Sox shirts <laughs> and, at Yankee Stadium and all that shit. Well, it's just too mean-spirited. Like, I always Holy like the shit. chance of, like, you know, go get them, Yanks. <laughs> Oof, oof. <laughs> I'll just let me no no P U. <laughs> I'll just um take it, take it like a man. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll just take it. Can all I just right. point out that all those uh, all those car <laughs> CEO executive guys yeah, in, yeah. The, in the back seat of a four door sedan is really really amusing. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> I saw that too. you know the the uh, obviously the three CEOs for the for the big three automakers are in Washington. They're they're trying to get money to bail them out because they're all in the shitter. So they were chastised the other day, at least the General Motors guy, for flying in, mm -hmm. using his private jet to yeah. fly in. And it's like you're, you're crying poverty and you're flying in, uh, in a private jet. So now, like this isn't some calculated fucking move. They're all driving in in hybrid vehicles. Driving. It's like, why not just take a... F I don't think anybody would fault the CEO... If they've got him a first class ticket on American Airlines, I, I don't think anybody it's would It's a business that. trip, of course. You fly in a commercial airline. Yeah. If you fly in a private jet, you're going to catch shit. But if you fly, you know, a regular airline. But now it's like, look at us. Could you please? It's like when they, you, you see a fucking murderer and it's just a savage fucking animal that they caught his mugshot and everything. And then in court, they're all clean shaved, haircut in a suit. And you're like, this guy's never looked like this. Right. Ever. Do you think the Body CEOs are fighting in the back seat? Go, he's touching me. Yeah, he's stop touching it. me. Uh, don't make me turn this around. <laughs> right. No, they're, they're probably arguing over who's the bigger piece of shit <laughs> that has helped drive a fucking nail into the coffin of this country. Yes. 
I've fucked more people who've dedicated their lives to the company. Oh, I say you haven't. <laughs> I'm the bigger scumbag out of all of us. I should take a bigger pay cut. No, I should. <laughs> I mean, how, come, how come they're getting so much shit and the bankers didn't? That's what I don't understand. Uh, I don't yeah, understand that, that's that. an odd thing. I they think a lot of three, three quarters of a trillion dollars. We're you know going to help is, you guys though. out. You know what? We're going to actually we're going to keep it and buy other banks. I think the government had their hands so far into the banking industry anyway. With uh, the lawmakers and, and the, the, the uh, deregulation, the power that they gave these banks that wound up turning into the fucking that they had to do something or else it was going to get to the point where it's like, oh, shit, wait a minute. I'm to blame. So they threw money at the banks. The automakers, though, they, you know, dug their own grave pumping out fucking SUVs yeah, just while gas them, was at four dollars a gallon. But we just gave them three quarters of a trillion dollars that they were going to help us with. And then they decided to keep it because stuff changed over like two months. Yeah. So now they're buying other banks with it. And, you yeah, know, they're using now, it as, as just capital, it. as liquid assets. That yeah, they and they're charging have. me like three times the fees. Yeah. I didn't do shit. This wasn't a bailout. It was like, here, here's some cash. Business as usual. But now you have a lot more money. Yeah. Mm. Frightening. Uh, what has happened? I'm waiting for the big downfall. Uh, the other day, I guess yesterday, um, a Russian uh, battleship and uh, a few other ships went through the Panama Canal for the first time since World War II. And um, they had a, a little meeting with Venezuela, another country that just loves us. And it's all adding up to the United States is becoming just nothing. Vulnerable. We're becoming this. Uh, we're, we're soon we'll be a third world nation, relatively soon. But in the meantime, we're just losing any power and any influence we had in the world because we're we're like a joke now. Uh, Europe is all happy and friendly with each other. They got their own fucking money now. Germany seems to be in check for no, the they time don't. being. No, they're, they're they're where we're gonna be. Their euro. Yeah, we're, they're going to put us all on the Amero. This all goes back the to Amero. One, one World Bank, one World Government. That's what they're going to. They already did it. Oh, I love this. This is uh, the Illuminati. No, it isn't, dude. It, it, no, I know. It's like they want to have the Amero you know where, so where it's like Canada. I, I, I get so much shit for this conspiracy theory stuff. All this shit that's happening, I read about this like a year ago on the Internet, which, of course, the Internet, man... The internet lies. TV's telling you the truth. Yeah, but yeah. The internet, that's all lies. It's, dude, I'm telling you. They, the only way we would ever get off the dollar is if they so fucking devalued it. And uh -huh. that's exactly what they're doing. NAFTA made no sense. Hey, let's take all, all the industry from this country, t give it to other people, and fuck everybody here and stick them in cubicles. And this is like the last thing that they can fuck us on is, is the big three. These are the guys who made the tanks and the jeeps when we go to war. Right, right, they're gonna right. get rid of this shit. The yeah, fucking yeah. Somalian pirates can take us over at this point. <laughs> we a love global, those stories. But one global bank, not necessarily one bank, but one one monetary unit, one unit as a planet is actually advancement. I mean, it's it, it eventually it, yeah, a mm. planetary unit as, as is actually How is that it, um because that gives a lot of power to um someone. I, no, no, no I, I'm not talking about that. Entity. I'm talking about ugh, beyond God. that. Eventually when we're not breaking ourselves down into different quat lubes. When you're looking at like like and Dr. Kaku talks about that. When you're looking mm -hmm. at like uh, planetary things, like like colonizing the moon or advancing in space, Earth is going to have to be one group. Can't happen. Uh, it will, of course, it will. It, 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 to me, like individualism. I know it sounds crazy. Is a part of being primitive. Um, as we advance, they're, they're setting up an aristocracy. You're group. a commie. They're, 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 no, no, they're no, no, not, no, dude, they're not, not bringing, They're not bringing us together. I'm not, I'm not about them even. I'm talking about as a, as a group, as we all eventually, it will all work itself out. It's just going to take a long, long, long time. But uh, to, to colonize the moon and to branch out into space, it's it, no one's going to say. He's doing a bit right now. No. 100% he serious. No, he's serious. 100% serious. He's filibustering. 100% serious. Listen, like Dr. Cocker when he talks about Dr. Uh, Cockring. <laughs> <laughs> when he talks about like uh, planetary powers and advancement of a species, yeah. um, like well, we're not ability... ready to wing off and start commerce with no, Saturn. Not yet, we are, but you have to start. So I'm talking about like going out into space and utilizing uh, 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 stuff like that, as opposed to just like Jim, our fucking banks, Earth resources. Banks are nothing more. It's legalized extortion. I'm not even talking about the, I'm not talking about <laughs> the all banks. That's it is. Dude, 27% interest rate. What, what point is they're it rapists, usury? They're, they're awful. They're rapists. They should be shot. I'm not yeah. talking about that. What kills me that. is the entire world is run by those guys you didn't pick in fucking gym class. Those people who struck out playing kickball. The Jews. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but I'm not. But well, I'm, you always got to do it. It's blue bloods. Blue straight bloods. Across, blue straight bloods. across. Yeah. But I'm not talking. Fellas, all those. Yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about them. I'm, so, I'm not even saying you're wrong. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about. You're talking about colonizing, colonizing space. But it's I'm a reality. About, it's, where it's where we're headed. It's where we're headed. 
It, it's like when you look beyond as a species, I'm not just talking about the next 100 or 200 years. When you look as a species, people talk about space travel and advanced civilizations. Picture a thousand years or two thousand years into our evolution as a species. Are we still going to be broken down into states? And fuck, are we going to be like this is the the Earth is one unit? Do you as think one... that's a good, a good thing? Of course it is. How is that a good thing when only when certain cultures advance faster and better than it other? It will eventually cultures? become a planetary culture. Oh, but again, dude, please. It, it might be five thousand years from now. But eventually, that to me is going to happen. 5,000 years. We're talking Jim, about Jim, maybe 20 years. There's an unbelievable years. population problem right now to the point where melting the ice That's on top what they're of this talking planet. about, Colin. So, exactly. That's so what they're going to end up doing is that there's going to be a bunch of people who are going to get processed. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I was watching this thing on Hitler the other day. And hey, when, yeah, when, I watch when, those all the time. When they got in control in Parliament or whatever their, whatever their branch of government was, they signed, they, they passed through this whole thing packed that basically all of a sudden they could start arresting people without yeah, yeah. charging them detaining them. it was the fucking patriot act it's the same thing dude like i don't know what's i feel like i'm living in germany in 1931 right uh, now if and, only and, and we're all sitting oh, here going like, dare to dream with beer steins in our hands <laughs> you look just at, having fun you know what the thing is anthony watching thinks, the anthony the, thinks he's gonna make the cut he yeah. thinks he's making the team i would make you the think team. you're making you're not making the team i'm you're making a the railroad team. car right next to me uh, what, what are your skills? What are your skills when they take the detention camp? I'm essential to the war effort. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's a great <laughs> shoveler. When they take it into the detention camp, what are you going to say? I talk shit on him to a microphone for 20 years? I am very influential. I could be the uh, science a minister. I could sir. be a minister of propaganda. I am asking the questions. Do you I... have any science background? Yes, of course. Explain your mustache. I'll lie. I could be a minister of Why propaganda. Than the I could spread the word that needs be spread. Amongst you know the people, the common people. The best you can hope for is you're going to be sitting in a trench like it's 1918. <laughs> <laughs> With 50 <laughs> tear gas being thrown at me. <laughs> you're going to be the guy who's going to sing Silent Night on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and get a f one between the eyes an hour before the war ends. <laughs> Don't you see how like we have this? And again, we're in, we're in the minuscule part of what's eventually going to happen. When you look at, I'm not talking about the banking scumbag. On a bigger picture, when you look at like the cosmonauts in, in, in the space station, or the Russians and the Americans, and now we're talking about going to Mars, that's all about colonizing fucking moons. And it's not just about overpopulation, it's about certain natural disasters will eventually yeah, threaten the Earth. But do you realize Jim, there's that no was... atmosphere? You can't colonize but, those of places. Of course, you have, you have to make a create a false atmosphere or something. We call them shake and bake colonies. We absolutely. The sham wow moon. We absolutely will eventually <laughs> live on other places. We're going to end up going to uh, LV-426 and set up a shake and bake colony. No, we're not. What they're going to no? do is they're going to fucking eliminate at You least know, the company manufactures a these. A good three, four billion people. They're, they're going to be processed. And uh, then, you know, I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's going to be a gated community and servants. You think that's it? That, going, that kind going, of class. We're going back to a feudal system. Feudal system. Survival right. of the species dictates that we have to be able to eventually move from where I we are. I can't agree with Jimmy. No. Uh, well, you know, you can you can uh, kind of talk about what might happen in five thousand years. That, that's all, what I was talking about. It's all speculation. Yes. The the thing is, all of our technology that we have is based on where you're from and what was necessary for the time. Space travel, the only fucking reason we did that was to, to show the Soviets who we hated mm -hmm. that we were better than them. And the reason that they had their program was that if there's no competition in this world, we're not gonna all join together for the good of science to do anything. No, we base our whole technology, our whole advancement and evolution is based on hating someone else. Which, which beyond that is a need to survive ourselves. Yes. It's not just the anger. Be beneath that is my hatred of you as a threat to my survival. So it's like when you look at Cobbett Shoemaker Levy hitting Jupiter was a major event because it made fucking, it made clouds that were the size of our planet and it's a po the Earth gets battered all the time. The moon has obviously been battered. It's not crazy that something a quarter mile long will hit the planet. That's not mm. out of the realm of speculation oh, and eventually on, we'll be able to see that happening. It's a necessary Necessary part of survival, and yeah, like that, you, you that, that these... would be a godsend compared to fucking walking around with a microchip with all your information <laughs> on it. And if we'll you all... fuck with the deal, they turn your chip off. And you become homeless. <laughs> that's, that's, and they're not going to. Well, they're not going to totally turn it off. 
They get, they'll just turn off all the financial shit. So, so then all of a sudden you're, you're saying that you walk around and, and the chip is your life. It's, it's all your yeah. information, your financial information. And then if you fuck with the Haven't, system, have, do, they shut you your s- chip off and all of a sudden you don't own your house anymore. Yeah, you have no money, no car, Trading and you're places, homeless. You're out. And then, but they won't totally turn your chip off because they're still going to need to know where you are because they can't have a group of chipless people. All getting together. If we mass together like, as chipless like, people, like a then Smith movie. Then you have power. And then, yeah, and then you all. Yeah, then you can't have, have that. You'll be completely one hundred percent fucked, and they're going to be able to I do love it. Love Phil Ver. They're going to be able to do it, and everybody's going to say the exact same stupid shit that they said when they started tapping our phones, going, "Well, you know, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, <laughs> hey, what's the problem?" Because you're well, taking away your ability to ever rebel against oppressive rulership. Thank you. That's why I feel yeah. uh, strongly about the Second Which Amendment. Which is why. People like Rosie O'Donnell do not understand the importance of the Second Amendment, oh, the right wow, to bear arms. Dummy. Yeah, let's just have the government and bad guys be armed, yeah. and the rest of us will be sitting here like fucking idiots. We're already screwed, dude. How do you, like back in the day, you could actually put together a militia and yeah. have, have a good, you know, standoff, a good scrum. Yep. You know, packing it. Now, what am I, what am I going to do with some guy in an F-16 and I got my little, my paintball gun? But the thing is, look at how rebels have done, how well they've done in Afghanistan against the Soviet Union, in Iraq against the United States. Oh, that's true. That's uh, they, they usually, uh, uh, just an armed with basic weapons, uh, public that is, outraged at an army doing shit mm-hmm. has done very well a uh, vietnam is another prime example yeah, we you, uh, we out fucking uh outplayed them as far as equipment goes yeah tenfold even more and they kicked our ass threw us right the fuck out of there dude when you got the commitment to be like did you ever see the footage of that one-legged soldier with the ak-47 oh yeah yeah, yeah jumping if, around and shooting if, that fucking if you're gonna thing fight to that level it's just like it's yeah, just not well, happening i just can't picture americans being on that level, like I always uh, uh, said, I can never picture an American, a bunch of American refugees having to go into Mexico and Canada just streaming in with like, like when you see refugees, they have their kids hanging on a tit and something, uh, 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 maybe a change of clothes on their head. And, and we'd be like with, with our nice rolling suitcases and with useless makeup and uh, shit. I'm going to tell you, dude. And it, just it, horrible it would, stuff. It would come back quick. That Viking DNA. You, you look think? at the history of this country. We all well, got hopefully our those people that would need that shit would be gone, just fucking gone. And the people that are a little stronger <laughs> and can survive Jesus off Christ. of the fucking land <laughs> might be uh, that. That you know, sometimes you need a good purge, purging of these motherfucking assholes uh, uh, to to uh, rebuild on. Have you seen that commercial for the Duracell batteries? Where, remember, uh, it was oh, a bit, yes. this actual bit from yes. my act where I talked, you know, like these, back in the day when they sold batteries, it was some guy in the rain, like, oh, thank God I had batteries in my flashlight. Now they're selling batteries. Some woman can't find her kid in the yeah. park. Yeah. Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Kevin. Then she takes out that little device. Tracking <laughs> device. And there comes fucking Kevin running over the hill, and they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, fuck the batteries. <laughs> what was that thing she just took out of her pocket? <laughs> yes. That kid's sneakers weren't glowing. He didn't have an antenna coming out of his head. What the fuck was that? Yeah, where was the other and, part of that? Evidently, it's a band that has the microchip in it, but they never show that part. No. Dude, they're gradually... That's they're making they're gonna, us comfortable. They're gonna know they're gonna of the possibility. They, they're yeah, gonna create yeah, that's a what they fear. Have to start with the commercial. They're yeah. gonna create a fear that if you don't if you don't do this to your kid, you're gonna lose your kid. My big conspiracy theory is whatever they're doing to dogs, they're gonna be doing to us in ten years. <laughs> dogs right now are microchipped, castrated, sitting in shelters waiting to be rescued. That's gonna be us. We're gonna be in FEMA camps. <laughs> Avenge me, <laughs> boys! Avenge, Avenge me! me! <laughs> You forget that we're evolving, though. You forget that we are not evolving. We're not. Of course, you know we are physically. You need, you need, you need to read about banking are. and realize what's really going on, dude. dude we're not evolving we're fast not evolving enough for you, how we're fucking ourselves up. But look up. at where we were. You want to go Cro Magnon era to where we are now? You think we just stop evolving? No. We don't stop look, evolving. Dude, just, just physically at, and mental Jim, capability Jim, hasn't changed. Jim, back in the sure. day, we, we had the same. Uh, brain area as a Cro Magnon. We started as we do now. It, it was it was all just filling in what we, we were ignorant of. The intelligence potential was always there, but we didn't know anything because we hadn't done anything. It took a long time to figure shit out. But after we figured it out, 
Uh, that's just what we do as humans. We're very curious things. And it's just, just because, because just the because. physical evolutions take millions of years, though. Like, like, we, like the sharks really haven't evolved, but we are still evolving. I'm telling you, we are. We're getting more connected. No doubt, we're not evolving. But you know something? It's not at this rapid rate where even in five thousand years we're going to be any better than we were. We than we are now. We we suck. We have hatred in us. We have pr primal instincts yes. that, that prevent us. From being united like a bunch as of monkeys. a people, like right. a bunch of We're monkeys animals that but hate other thing, people Jim, because they just look because different. You used to have a record player, and now you have an iPod. That is another That's evolution. Not evolution. I'm not not at and now, all. now they can exactly. listen, and because they can listen to your phone calls now, that is not. I'm not talking not about progress. that. You're, you're not evolution. Me. I'm not saying that. You're talking about Saturn. Another fucking <laughs> finger would be evolution. <laughs> we are yeah, fucking yeah. a dick growing so what, out of your forehead so you can just eat ass while you fuck a girl is evolution. What do you think we did? We didn't just show up here. With her. Yeah. Yes, that does feel good. <laughs> we didn't just show up here with two legs and two arms. We came out of the fucking gunk millions of years ago. Yeah. Dude, that, I'm not talking about us evolving. But I that's what eventually going. Why do you think they're living above the earth in a fucking uh, and I know there's probably some paranoid reason. It is eventually to learn how to adapt to space because we're eventually gonna have to move. Well, we're I'm going to have to That wasn't that. the initial dude, idea. Dude, that's talking, eventually yes. Well, we're talking about two different things here. I'm talking about how a lot of this shit that they used to tell me when I was a kid that I'm lucky I don't live in Russia because now they can do this is now they can do it. Now they can they can pull up in a black van and just arrest you for nothing because they suspect you of terrorism. You never were able to do that shit. You were never able to do yeah, that. Yeah, but you would also... That's not, that's not evolution, dude. I'm that not losing... I'm not saying it is evolution. You, 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 I'm not saying... You're, you're taking a conspiracy theory and, and, and what I'm saying is... The Patriot is, Act is not a conspiracy theory. It's I'm a not, document. But you just said about pulling up and uh, arresting people for no reason and they, they're doing it like they used to do in Russia. No, I'm saying they can. They can legally do that now. They can't just arrest you for without yes, any they can. without any. Yes, they can. With, I don't believe you. They can just walk in and arrest Anthony. We suspect him of terrorism. Yes. No yes, court yes, order. Yes, they can. And, and absolutely no uh, no grounds for suspicion. Yes, None. just to, I don't believe it. Yes, I None. can't buy it. Can't hold me. Yeah, well, they, I, I don't buy it. They can hold you. They can arrest you. Well, yeah, Jose the Patriot, Padilla, they in held England. indefinitely. Under, under the Patriot Act, under the Patriot Act, what, 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 what would I have you, to have done, though? They just have to brand you suspected of terrorist For activity. For what? What did I do? What's proof? Whatever they fucking can come up with. They but, don't have but, proof. They but don't they need You know something? They Everyone down in Guantanamo, I don't think there's some fucking guy that was working at, you know, a Jiffy Lube. In Guantanamo, separate going, argument. What the fuck separate happened? Argument. You know, you're making a separate, a separate argument, argument from what I was making. Separate argument. Dude, the patriarch. It I was is a separate argument. argument. It's a you're right. Separate it is separate. Argument. I'm just saying but. that what they're doing to them down there, they can do to you. But Bill, you're making but a separate that, argument from what I was making. I was talking about like, something well, else. Let's talk over each other. You were talking about two different things. They said you're making a separate argument from what I was making. The president, making an argument. The standing president can now suspend elections if they want to. I'm not talking definitely. I was not talking about the 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 Patriot Act. I'm not talking about oh we're going to get arrested. I'm talking about as as becoming like you talk about Europe becoming one or the U.S. and South America and all these things eventually happening. Yeah, there's a lot of shitty elements to it, but eventually we are going to become one planetary unit. And, like as far we we are okay. going to. And That's everybody's going to be Puerto Rican. And, and the reason mm. for that is Jeez. is is a power is for power. It's not to evolve and to have world peace, dude. It's, I didn't say it's world so, it's, peace, it's, but power as a, a, a planet where we are eventually going to go out into space and go to other places. This is That's one of these eventually going to happen. Where neither person can hear what the other person is saying. But I, I am here. We're having two different arguments. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you're using conspiracy this theories. This is and two stuff. different arguments. Two, I know it is. I'm not using cons Patriot Act. It's not conspiracy theory. But okay, you're acting like the any, dog thing. American I, I made a little funny there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. It is supposed to be a comedy <laughs> yes. show. But the Patriot Act. It's not a conspiracy theory. But Americans are not just being sapped up and thrown in jail That's by black true. vans. You know, yeah. Jimmy, one of my things on my to-do list today is to buy your book. Okay? okay. And yes. I'm going to tell you, if we can continue to argue like Which this, one? They're both okay. bestsellers. I'm just joking. We're not even no, arguing I, about it, dude. You, 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 you don't like the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about something I was on trying a, to a, this funny, is a different. I was trying to have a funny way out of this. No, there's two different arguments yes. going on here. I'm saying... Two completely different arguments. I was only... When you were saying that we're becoming... Uh, like, you were saying like oh, Europe is gym. one unit... And, and the U.S. is becoming this. The United I'm States of North America. That there's not. It's not North always. It's not all right. awful that North we America. become like one group as a planet. I think fuck it the is. bankers. I'm not talking. About, I even said yeah, I don't. Fuck dis the bankers. They just created you know, all this. What you're doing is. I said I wasn't disagreeing with you, and I said that. I said I'm not even saying you're wrong. 
about that shit. I'm talking about <laughs> on another, another part of it, becoming one group as a planet is not a bad thing. I, don't I even th said I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't disagreeing thing. with you. I don't think it raises us up. I think it lowers us to everybody else's level. That's what the thing is. America's been its elite nation, and then by watering us down, it doesn't make us better. Every empire falls. Get used to it. The Romans, the fucking Genghis Khan, they ruled a lot longer than we did, and they went down the fucking to the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It happens to everyone. We are going to go. I don't know why we think we're so different. We're not. What about the, the difference in religion, though? How does that play out in your future? Uh, eventually, if there's ever... You got the Muslims, oh, here's what happens. You find life on another planet. Like, they now just recently oh. photographed for the first time other planets. They, they're not just the fucking blip of a star going around something. They actually have a, a, a photograph of, of a distant, like, heat or whatever coming off a planet. Once a life is, is, is fucking confirmed on other planets, and it becomes a part of what we know to be the truth. All the religions will fight it, we'll but eventually we'll religions, like to me, religions are a sign of being primitive. They will eventually yes, go away. Absolutely. Eventually, in time, over thousands and thousands of years of evolution and of, of, of evolution of thinking, they will eventually go away. Just like the fact that when we look at what Zeus and all that shit, that no longer holds water. I'm not saying that the, the nonsense hasn't changed, but once we find life on other planets and it's confirmed, and more than just a water molecule, once we have the ability to, to, to confirm life on other planets, the idea of religion will absolutely change. And a lot of it will be lost. Did you get yeah. this knowledge from Yale? Last no, 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 no. Come up with but I mean, it's not, I'm not saying anything crazy either. I, I think Bill and I are talking about two massively different yes. scales. Yeah, yeah. We, were kind of we, were. we were having a conversation about one thing, and then you jumped in with this, this planetary <laughs> stuff. And well, I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying <laughs> that. Sorry, I was on the show, too. I didn't mean to jump in and wreck things. I didn't say you couldn't go in, but you, you completely changed the subject. That's what, like, what, like, like, that's why I didn't understand what you're saying. I was only, I didn't mean to change the whole... I a common I, ground here. The common ground was, you just made me think of something when you were talking about Europe as a whole. Right. Now Europe is this whole thing. And I was saying, I, I agree with you to a certain point, but I didn't think in the end game that us being one thing is a bad, like there's shitty parts of it, but eventually we are going to wind up that way. So even though there's shitty elements to Europe being a part of uh, well, using one monetary unit, and there's dangerous aspects to it, I do think that eventually that's where we're headed anyway. I don't disagree mm. with you, Jimmy, but how long would that take? I, I don't know. That's why I said I, he's, I don't know why years, Bill's right? so irritated that I jumped in with that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not irritated. I, I, was, I was trying to understand what you were saying, but I was saying we were, we were talking about like, uh, whatever. I don't know how to make this... To simplify, say we were talking about Dunkin' Donuts down the street. You started talking about malls of the future, but not out of nowhere <laughs> because you had t because you made me think of something. All right, well, let's no, I'm not saying you're wrong, Jim. I just didn't get what you were saying. Now you, I now I kind of understand what you're saying. I don't even understand how it relates to what we were talking about. But I'm an idiot, so well, I'll explain to you how it, 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 it connects. I, can we to go what back you were to saying guy, with the euro second. and Europe being and one what, yeah, entity and then, as and then, far as and then money you went goes. Into, like, well, the, the Americas are all North be America, one. South America, yeah. yeah we'll, and, we'll and, and then I was one. saying that individualism in countries, the idea of that is going to go away eventually anyway. That not discounting that the bankers are scumbag and, and what you're saying, not discounting any of that. Okay, but my my thing about it is, Jim, mm. is is us being separate. Is not like they're not getting rid of that because that's a primitive way of thinking. I'm not talking about um, if I could finish. Oh, God, sorry. Okay, the reason why they're doing that is because they want to have one world bank that prints the currency for the entire world at interest, and which basically financially enslaves the entire world. You make a ton of fucking cash. That's why they're doing it, not to help people, not to end wars, not to make shit better. I'm not talking about they. Who is they? It's us. No. Who is that? I'm talking about as a like, species. We're people. I don't look at it like there's I'm a magical about, bay. No, I'm not. I'm talking about like the Federal Reserve. You read about the Federal Reserve, dude. They print the money for this country at interest. You can't get out of debt with that. It's a private corporation. It's not a government. <clears throat> the Federal Reserve is not a. It's not a governmental entity. It's a private corporation. So that what prints is the, the money for this country? Okay, so I, I can't just prove what you're saying. You can't prove what you're saying. So maybe you're right about what the Federal Reserve is, but you can't prove where this is going to go. I can send you to some information that you're I, saying that, that we're all going to be I, slaves to one world government. Dude, have you ever done the math on your mortgage? Um, kind I, of. I, yeah, I, that's I why a, I pay I, to the principal. I, I have a three hundred fifty thousand dollar loan. If I take thirty years to pay it, that I pay back seven hundred sixty six thousand. <laughs> yes, that's why I pay into principal. Yes, I, I have done yeah, the math. I do yeah. that too. How is that fucking? And this is based the brilliance of how it. is that legal, right? How exactly. Is that, how is that fucking legal? It is. You remember sickening. back in the day, you had a couple friends, you got together. You fucking built a log cabin. You had a house-raising party. It was over. 
You didn't have to fucking work at Staples for 30 years. Then by the time you're done, and people are so fucking stupid. At the end of their loan, they're like, oh, I paid 350 for it. Now it's worth 800 No, stupid. You paid 750 Right. You had to put a new roof on it. The above ground pool collapsed. That cost you three grand to fucking sweep that up. You made a thousand bucks over 30 years. Now you're 68. What are you going to take up water skiing? It's fucking over. It's over. And then because they print the money, they cause inflation. You can't afford property tax. Then you got to sell it. They move another 30 year old in. They bend him over for fucking 30 years. That's what they're doing, dude. Well, you're not going to get an argument out of me about the banks yeah. being pieces of shit. I mean, no, who's, no one's arguing that point. But it's like, it, it's like, uh, Generation after generation survives. I don't know why you think it's all coming to an end and we're all going to fall into the toilet. We eventually, no, generation after generation, survive. I'm saying that these fucks keep taking another slice out of everybody as you keep continuing on and they're getting richer and we're getting poorer. That's not evolution, Jim. That's They're creating an aristocracy. Us going to a global economy is a part of our evolution. It is a, it's going to happen. Us going to for a global... Evil, for evil purposes, Jim, not to help us. It, it's not always for evil purposes. So if we eventually branch out and colonize the moon and colonize uh, one of Jupiter's moons, that's for evil purposes? Like, where does it stop? Be, what, like, when does our natural evolution take over or, or become a part of the Jim, theory? I know nothing about colonizing other planets. But it's, it's not as crazy as you read think. About How do you have a war with somebody that you're sharing a, a monetary um, thing, like you're sharing the same money? How do I'm you not then, saying you, you won't. No, I'm just saying that, weapon. like under Jimmy, under Jimmy's uh, uh, thing here of of one united Earth with a, a single denomination of of currency. How do you then fight a war? Isn't there a conflict of interest with the bank, Dude, with the bank, I, I, when kinda... you're fighting a war? Like, how do you divvy well, you up look, the money? If you look at someone like the the higher like. This, people have money on both sides of wars. I don't know. I, again, you, dude, you, these are huge fucking questions. But all I know is that, you know, the direction they're going in, man, is that they're trying to get everybody in the world underneath the thumb of that. Have one bank, have everybody in that mortgage ass fucking. And it, it's just continually going to get worse Who and worse. Who are the, the guys? They, they, Who are the fucking aristocracy here? Yeah. Who is they? Who is they? Uh, I just want to know who they are. The woman Whoever the whoever's behind the Federal Reserve, whoever created. I mean, the J.P. Morgans, the Rothschild families. I mean, it's not if you. Those are old. Like they've been around for forever, and but you don't even. They don't even seem to have the influence that they used have to you, have. Have, back. You read, have you read any any stuff? You read that book, The Case Against the Federal Reserve. No, no, I, 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 just, just I didn't read up read on that. that type of stuff too. Believe me, I just I'm, know these I'm, old I'm families. Literally, seem... I'm literally one inch into this shit, and it makes way more sense than any crap I see on TV. You know, I can't intelligently debate this thing. Like all the way down to who the fuck is run, running this shit. I don't. I don't fucking know. But like, when I read stuff like that, that makes way more sense to me than they don't like us because they don't like freedom. They're just jealous or, or uh, uh, any any of this bullshit that they just they just throw mm. none of it. Or a politician who just stands there up. I think it's time to get America back to work. <laughs> and I mean, yay! It's like dude, yeah. you're not saying anything. One of the greatest ways they control people is with religion. Once religion goes, and eventually it will go, once that goes, then a tremendous element uh, of our thinking and our psyche as, as, as beings changes. We'll always hate people that are different from us. I don't know we about that. We always will. Dude, I don't when, know about that. How come Which I think when is there's a, a plain, state of it's human a natural beings. state of humanity? You're At absolutely right. At this point, yes, when, you're probably right. At this but, point, our stupid evolution, you're probably when, right. When there's, when there's a plane crash in a country or an earthquake or something, the news has to report how many Americans were killed. Yeah. Because you care more about them yes. than you do the indigenous people of whatever catastrophe happened. When I see bodies. Uh, of of people in Asia laid out from a, t a typhoon, a hurricane, whatever the hell happens, an earthquake. I don't care as much as I do when I see a natural disaster or a terrorist event that killed Americans and you see American bodies. The news won't show American dead people as often as they'll show foreign dead people. And it's because we don't have the caring for those people as we do for our own people. And it's this concocted thing. We just made up the borders and yes. everything. Uh, uh, but but there's a caring, there's a, a, a unity that we have uh, that that is ingrained in us as a people. We don't like different people. Is it ingrained in us or is it trained? 
Is it like... I think it's instinctual. I think it's ingrained in us. It has some kind of a thing that was put in there watch for kids. protection. You it watch was, kids play in a sandbox. There's right. always the alpha male. He's running shit. Yes. Kids get jealous. It's so kids primitive. Get, they steal toys. They yeah, fucking yeah. hit each other. The strong yes. one makes the weak yeah. one cry and run away. Just like they used to drag women in. And, and it's, it's Again, it's a part of evolving. You, you, we are, in a weird way, talking about the same That's thing. That's not evolution no, saying, either, I'm, because I'm you still want to grab, male, the the still wanna grab women and just natural. fuck them in the street. It's natural. But you the evolution can't. and stuff. Yeah, it is. It I is mean, you still want to. It's just you. You evolve. You change. I'm telling you, it happens. It's just a very fucking slow process. It, it's we're not all talking. The alpha male is not going to ever go away unless right. you did like a Planet of the Apes fucking surgery on the side of you people's cut out heads. his brain. Or yeah. unless yeah. evolution dictates that you don't need to be an alpha male to survive. Uh, unless unless we we go to a point which we it's it's, it's again you know we're talking. You so know, women would just start fucking nerds. There would be no reason to be the star of the, of the football team. Nah, but it all comes down to provide. Like, do women really know? Like, it, it's a biological thing. It's an evolutionary thing. How they fucking want to get knocked up by a certain age because they got that clock. You know, what I mean, it's all internal stuff. So, do you think dogs will ever change and cats and fucking <sighs> penguins, they where they'll they'll all of a sudden start? Well, that was due to <laughs> I don't know. Our, the sharks, our, sharks because of our, our domestication of So maybe dogs. we are at the end. But we've but, changed a lot in yeah. X amount of years. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. But we don't know really haven't. We, we, it's We're like Bill said, getting a fucking CD player instead of a Victrola is not evolution. It's technological advancement just from us becoming more informed on things through learning, not evolution. Our brains did not get any smarter between the time we were fucking carving arrowheads and now. We just figured more shit out and stored it in our brains that were the same when we were cavemen. Okay, maybe that's where the rest of the evolution comes from then. Maybe it's not this physical thing. Maybe it's it's mental or whatever But then the hatred of other people and other nationalities and, and other races won't go away, and the alpha male thing won't go away. This is something ingrained in humanity that I can't believe in 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 fucking years is ever going to go well, away. Well, if Europe can like each other, how can they... They don't! No, no. They fucking but hate but each work, other. But work together. He was saying that Europe should love... They're <laughs> united in the hatred of the United <laughs> States. Whatever they're united yeah. in. <laughs> they are united, and we eventually won't look at it like, ah, oh, he's different because he's this, or he's different because he's that. Once you, you look at you think the yourself, Germans like the French? Not really. They fucking hate them as much as they did during the war. But it is they're not united always Jim, Jim, necessity. The they're, they're, they're united so they can have the same currency, so they can they can right. Do they that have power. Amway scam. That's why the Amway scam. What do you? So where do yeah. you see us in like say two thousand years or three thousand years? What do you, what Different do you see borders, the same, thing? same assholes running things. So what do you think happens when we discover life on another planet? Jimmy, We're, somebody is always going to want to fuck somebody's hot girlfriend. Yeah, I know. I understand that. Gonna do you know I there are people that, that have an absolute belief that there are that uh, there is a, a other life uh, a life on other planets that still have an unbelievable belief in God and religion and Christianity. Meaning, so yeah. even if they discovered other life, they'd still fucking pray to their God and well, just to have us that on would, Europe, that uh, would go uh, away. On, you think? Yes, I do. Just to have people on Earth is an incredible waste of space for the universe. <laughs> yeah, what is no the shit. purpose of everything else? Everything has a purpose, right? Uh, supposedly. What the f is that all that other shit to make us feel how lucky That's we are? That's just us. It gives us this mystery. We need a mystery so we can invent this fake shit that gives us this hope that after you fucking electronic impulses stop uh, 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 f pulsing in your body, that there's something else. If we knew, you know, if we were in some walled fucking cage that was the universe and we knew everything about it, we, we'd fucking, you'd shoot yourself the second you were born. You know, why the fuck am I working? Why am I doing this? It's hope. That's what fucking human beings are on this w world for, is this hope that something is going to get better eventually, whether it's in this life or the next one that we assume there's going to be, or we would sit around and fuck all day, or smoke pot, or do anything. There's just, we wouldn't do anything. The it's biggest, to keep productive. The biggest thing that no, keeps people fighting doing? is the idea of country yes. and the idea of religion. And I would say those are the two biggest things that keep people at each other's throats. Eventually, right. the idea um, of those things will go away. Land, prosperity? That's part of country to me. Um, As Jim, opposed to oh, being Jim, one big unit. I, you know what? I bet like, in, even when the world becomes one, we'll feel that South America or whatever whatever the fuck they call it is getting treated better than us. There'll always right, be right. a reason. There's always going to be. There'll always be that seventh grade fucking jealousy thing in, we're in between. Yeah, we're, we're, too, we're, not, we're not digital. We're fucking analog. We can't fucking just distribute evenly 
anything. There are greedy people. There are people yes, that... Yes, there are. And, and that I can't see ever changing. I, a whole brand new species has to fucking come out. We can't evolve from what we are. We need a whole new species to crawl out of the fucking muck and go, you guys are so fucking outdated, like the Neanderthals and the Cro-Magnon. We need that to happen. We need our our new age Neanderthal who, who, to come and treat us that? like douchebags. Cro-Magnon fucking who? kicked ass on those Maybe the big rigid, eyebrowed, stupid motherfucking <laughs> Neanderthals. <laughs> Maybe the next, the next form of fucking uh, of evolution for us, then, is, is, is with computers. Is it that crazy where we are, like, where you start to think of something, you think of an impulse, and the fucking phony finger moves. Maybe that's maybe that's the next phase of our evolution is somehow with computers. That's not that's not evolution though. Sure it is. That it, again, it, some it, kind it's of a, it's bio a, biotechnical uh, uh, thing where we, okay. we I I integrate technology it's into te our physiology. Evolution, that's cool. Or like, or genetic engineering where that could maybe advance our well, evolution somehow. Right. Like shit like that is evolution, buddy. Yeah. Like I said, go from record player to an iPod is not evolution. It's technological. But evolution, now wait a minute, I just like, uh, I could still, dude. Somebody from the 1800s, how well read they were back then because they didn't watch TV, could smoke me in a fucking conversation you, about a lot of stuff. Dude, you read a letter from like the Civil War, my dearest Penelope. As I yeah. sit here amongst the bodies of my kin, I, it's like this elegant fucking letter and shit. And and we can't, and I can't even send a letter anymore. It's yes. all email. It just we don't even you know, write. B R B uh, L O. Well, right. like a semicolon with yeah, yeah. A, a, a happy faces. Look, well, could you see my dearest Penelope? I saw, I saw I shot a rebel today. LOL. <laughs> we I saw a guy had a hilarious shirt. It said "You're retarded," and it was spelt Y O U R. And you know, that's just something you saw on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're retarded. <laughs> We by have, by uh, genetic, I think genetic engineering is the way that our own brains that we are capable of of doing whatever we're going to do with can affect our evolution. If we are able to eradicate certain diseases through genetic engineering, um, grow limbs, just do the affect our own bodies through our mind, that's an odd kind of forced evolution. I think that's the only way it could happen um, with any speed. I think. Uh, but but I don't know if you can eradicate that that natural hatred we have for things that are different. But look at the way we maybe you can't eradicate certain instincts. Maybe those instincts or those primal things take so long to go away. But look, like Bill said about 1800s, you're right. But how about having an argument with a guy from 15,000 years ago? That got but be you, easy. You get beat. <laughs> he does, yeah, oh, he, he would he he fucking blast you in the head with a rock. Yeah, and you're right. like, hey, we were talking. Right. <laughs> but look at the differences in the way we are, and the way we look at things now, and the way we look at things uh, then. We already yeah, have a yeah. global, uh, what do they say, global phone thing, which is is the internet. Uh, we already have now a completely global communication network, which we didn't have uh, except through separate phone systems. Look what's happened in the last hundred years. I don't see that three as evolution, days, though. Yeah, three days without food and water, man. You would revive. Oh. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, We'd be fucking yeah. Be Two thousand one, a space do. odyssey. Looking at a mom like in New Orleans. What what what, yeah. part, what part of your brain? Would, yes, uh, of course. My bell. We have to survive. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we are the creatures that need to eat and, what, and New drink. New Orleans, eighty-year-old diabetics waiting to be rescued on a bridge. <laughs> no, yeah. no, in the Superdome where it became the Thunderdome. You know, yeah. that's basic evolution. That's exactly what you're saying. That also we'll proves that my quick. point. Wait, is that uh, I, was, I was saying, yeah, it's Ralphie 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 May. May. I've been here for 30 Ralphie? minutes. How are you doing, everybody? I, I actually Dick enjoyed the, the conversation. And that proves my point of uh, yeah, the, well, the just... disdain we have for people that are different, for things that are different, for uh, different cultures, different ways. There is just, and the people that are in charge now um, are of a certain ilk and will be more sympathetic to that ilk. Look at how fast we change the way we feel about each other, though. How fast enemies become people we like. How fast it's cultures... Based purely on economics. Do you think we oh, yeah. liked Japan after uh, World War II? Economics. We dropped two bombs, they signed some papers, we shake hands, and it was still growing up. I remember growing up going, that's Japanese junk. And, oh, it's made in Japan, it's a piece of shit. And, and there was still this hatred of Jap Jap Japan, but we needed to rebuild them to keep the economy Okay, for stable. survival. So the, so the need to get along with it was based in some kind it of... It wasn't for survival. our survival, it was to... Like we would have gotten, we, gotten along just great if they were still fucking just scraping Jim, people. Jim, we do like no, Japan Jim. now. It's not like it Jim, was we, before. We, we, we do like Japan we do, now. We, we do. You're, you're Jim, absolutely so right. Change. But it, it was based on economic reasons, not not that we love human self interest beings. on some Jim. level. Okay, fine. 
Jim, this we country was them. rich in enough natural resources that we didn't have to go outside this country at all. At all. We had enough food. Yep. We had enough. We have enough factories. We could make everything here. We had everything we needed here. The only reason why we're fucking with these other countries is because a small group of people at the top want to get those people under your, th under, under your thumb. All, all these well, now how, let me ask you one question to interrupt you. Cause if, it's, if it's only a small group of people at the top, then how come in one hand it's all evolute, like we're all animals who will never get along? Like so, why does it have to that be a small group at the top controlling it's animal us? Animal with too much fucking control. The alpha male. It's the male. same way, dude. You take the average douchebag who's a nice guy, you make him a bouncer. You give him a little bit of power, he instantly becomes a fucking cunt. <laughs> when did these When did these things happen? Like when did this 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 group that controls it all start? Well, from what they didn't keep Genghis Khan on top. They from didn't what Bill keep the said, Romans on top. From what Bill said, and and I haven't read the book, and and Bill Bill was talking about, but these the this old money, this old aristocracy, these old blue bloods that's been going on for for hundreds of years yeah. these families now whether they have taken their power base and they're using it a little more clandestine than they used to because they used to be totally, big names because they, they, they used they to own understand, media but they and, understand and, they understand that becoming famous is one of the stupidest things you can do if you want any sort of so you power. think the rockefellers True are power. still like have their hands in, in as much shit as they Absolutely. used to. Absolutely, it's the genius. Do you think they just fell off? Then how come the foreigners own every building in New York City instead of the Rockefellers? Dude, and can I tell you something? Do yes. they own it? Who owns it? The bank owns it. And those guys are all paying fucking <laughs> interest on it, dude. It all comes back to banks. They fucking own everything. They fucking own, they own all so of it. So country means nothing. It, the, the fact that China owns and Japan owns buildings in New York, it's like they don't own it. It's this bank. But what makes the they banks... own it? They own it free and clear. Well, they can rent it out. They could do. We no one owns anything. If you want to, you know, go that uh, crazy. The bank, the yeah, if they it. have the oil, don't they have the things that kind of make? Well. Dude, it's not even your money. Like think of all the money you've made in your life. How much you've actually held in your hand? It's a I fucking know. number yeah. on a piece of paper. You put it in a fucking bank, and then through penalties and taxes, they can basically guide where the <laughs> fuck you're going to put it. That's why I'm in the stock market. I don't want to. I don't know a fucking thing about it. I just people. <laughs> I'm just sitting in a bar. People. Hey, it's a good investment. Oh, it's a good investment. I just fucking stick it in there. Now I'm trying to pull it out. They're like, yeah, go ahead and pull it out. Watch how far that dick goes in your fucking ass. We're gonna take it no matter what. Just shut your mouth and do what we say. That is that is the vibe. But that's not evolution, dude. It's an insane amount of fucking power that has taken made major advancements in the last like. Close to thirty years. I'd like to know who the, the the they are, though. I would love to know who yeah. they are. You're never are. gonna know. You're never gonna know. And people who sit there and act like like that's fucking weird. That the, 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 like, dude, do they who, know that? Wait, wait. Do you know who? Do they know they're the they? CBS? Do you know who? Yes, runs? Les Moonves. Do they know they're the they? Yes, and above him, Sumner Redstone. Do the they, they do. know that they are the they? <laughs> Or is it just the the structure of power that puts them in that position that they don't even know that they are the they? You know what I mean? I don't know. All I know, dude, I just read, like, like I don't know, I read this letter of regret that Woodrow Wilson wrote about being the guy who pushed the Federal Reserve Act. That's from a fucking standing president going, wow, did I just fuck this country up. It's not like conspiracy theory. And then people go, well, how do you know I wrote it? How the fuck do you know you wrote it? No, and it's, it's just before, like, you know, the media would have put it on and crucified him for uh, changing his mind on something. Uh, back in those days, now they have advisors that would say, just, don't do I that, you're look, crazy. I, I just look at what banks have done in the amount of criticism... They're getting versus these douchebag CEOs who I'm not defending from the big three. These guys, look at them. Yeah, look they're, at them. On, they're on fucking TV. Yeah, you they are. They're they right look now, like. live. These guys there are they getting are. hung out to dry. Never happens with bankers. Where are all these fucking idiots? Where are, where are they? Where are these Weren't the guys, guys from Lehman Brothers and Chase been like, weren't a lot of those guys fucking uh, called out and blasted publicly? I mean, yeah, a lot of not, these guys were fucking... They're not uh, going to jail. Guys, they need to get yeah. raped. I don't think they're going to They need to go get raped. They just stole three quarters of a trillion million... Three quarters of a trillion fucking dollars from every taxpayer in this country. Yeah. They're supposed to use that money to help us out. They fucking kept it. They kept it and, and they bought other they, companies. They bought up other fucking banks, dude. Yeah. And w there's n nobody's giving to them get any more shit. Debt, Nothing's not fucking out of debt. happened. But because bankers are scumbags and they are scumbags and they do control the money because they know the money better than any of us do, I don't think that's a sign that there's just a couple of little teeny people at the top doing all of it. If, if, if human nature is greedy and we're always going to hate each other, mm -hmm. well, then it's going to pockets of this are going to pop up all over the place. What make, I don't believe that. That's, you know, what I, that's what I think. That. Yeah. I'll definitely go along with that. But I also, people who don't, like believe in secret societies or conspiracy theory like I don't understand that on any fucking level it's like you can't any sort of major this this country 
came about through a conspiracy. The Revolutionary War didn't just spontaneously, everybody's drinking beer, and then you just started putting... Yeah, but it isn't this odd men. thing going, wow, these people were being persecuted and they decided to rebel? You're crazy. It's not, that wasn't a crazy idea of rebelling against a, a country no, that I'm saying was is, oppressing yeah, you. Yeah, but you don't just have a revolution. You have, no, to, you have to get into a room and start talking to people. Yeah, that's yes. conspiring, but that's different you from don't think that England, conspiracy has gotten but a you different... Don't, you don't, how do you think England... See, you live here, and it worked good for you, so you look at That was a revolution. England did not look at that as a revolution. They looked at it as this is uh, a Terrorist. group of evil, Insurgents. terrorist, yeah, yeah. conspiracy fucking Wolverine. people. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's it the same thing. Ralphie May at Gotham Comedy. But no one is saying... Thank you. But the fact is that they, they, there was a conspiracy there, and there are conspiracies. But it seems like when, if you mention a conspiracy theory, like you were saying with the Patriot Act, uh, it makes it look like anybody who was for the government having certain amounts of power with the Patriot Act are deluded idiots who are happy to give up our civil liberties. And it's like you don't look at it like there's any balance. It's like the reality was I watched, I watched what happened on 9-11. We all watched. So what's the solution to it? Like don't Listening let the government. To my phone calls. Don't let, no, 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 no. But no one's saying that. But but what is the – okay, so say don't listen to your phone calls. What do you do when you have a potential for a dirty bomb or the potential with suitcase Jim, news? let me give you – uh, dude, do you think that they weren't doing it anyways? You think that they weren't? Uh, no, I don't because I, I think the bottom line is you're giving them too much credit. I don't think the FBI and the CIA were passing information. No. I really don't. I, do, I think that these dumb motherfuckers were so <clears throat> proprietarial with their territory and yeah, them yeah. getting credit that they're like every other human nature thing. They were thinking selfishly. Well, they then, weren't I, communicating. I, 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 I think well, that, you know, I can't wrap my head around the fact that someone who works in the Pentagon is as fucking stupid and as lazy as I am. It's frightening they, to they think are. that, Bill, but it's the truth. With every job yeah. I've what gotten, are you basing that on? I, I've been amazed. What are you amazed. basing that on? You've never been to the Pentagon. You, know, you haven't worked with, oh no, my but, God, Bill, that guy down in the Air Force. Bill, I'll tell you why. are human beings. Any job I've ever had growing up. I fucking not the no, people. Dude, They're you all the same. You go to McDonald's and you look at somebody and you're like, you know what, dude? You fucking deserve to work here because you're an unmotivated, stupid. You're a fucking idiot. The, the guys at the people, top of radio companies are, not are just as Pentagon. dumb as the guy that was running a fucking blacktop Absolutely. business that I was toiling my ass over growing up. Absolutely. You, and you think it's going to be different, but you get there and you go, oh my God, so this no is the same asshole. So, you know, there, there, there's no morons. We're all morons. We're it, all fucking morons. Really? You, You're right. you, you, you never meet dudes. anybody and just be like, wow, this guy is a fucking... There's a couple... Uh, this smarter people... You know, but they're not that detached from humanity. Right. Like when I hear. Like you said, cut the food off, and that smart guy, he'll probably win because he's a little smarter at making some shit. But I'll tell you one thing, he'll be just as animalistic you know to what? keep himself I, alive. I, I quit. You guys. I, but I, we're I'm not even. No, 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 no. I don't give a shit. I, I, Bill. I, I, I'm, I'm just thinking more listeners. Do they really want to listen to this fucking. The phones are fucking uh, packed. They probably. When you look at, like, when I hear, like, 9 11 conspiracies, <laughs> like, you know, the military was told to stand down. <laughs> like, like, let's break that down. What guys. I know a lot of military guys. What military. Military guys, were, look, uh, there's some hijacked planes being flown into the buildings. Don't get up. Don't fly your planes up. Uh, okay, sir. You couldn't keep Abu Ghraib a secret yeah. in this fucking day and age hey. with the internet and with stuff. Well, the information is passed. Jim, I'm not talking about. <laughs> I'm not talking about sexy. 9 No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, only using, I know I'm not. not. I was an unclipped I'm just, cock. I'm only using that as an example. <laughs> but I'm just using that as a conspiracy example. Okay. Of, of the way people think that the they can be so completely detached from the humanity that we deal right, with. Right, right. Well, Sometimes you know, they, I gotta tell you, I dude, I hope, I hope I'm wrong about all this shit. I, you're I hope, probably not I, totally I just wrong. I went to the wrong fucking YouTube fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope to. You think I want to be right about this shit, dude? I have panic attacks watching this shit. I gotta stop. Oh, I, I have to right. literally stop watching this oh, shit. Oh, I yeah, love man. some anarchy. Don't watch the news. Dude, give me some fucking anarchy, please. I'd it's love coming. it. I'd love it. Crushed the whole fucking financial industry. Good, come crumbling down. So where there's lines of Americans l of looking to Canada for soup. And you don't feel like you're going to be in that line? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. He's I would hair. absolutely hey, hey, not. Hey, he's got new hair. I got new hair. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Do you em. know how to farm? Can you grow yes! soup? Or I've whatever the hunted. fuck you do it. I've survived. <laughs> I've survived in in shit. Okay. Of soup. In I've hunted for myself. Smart I've skinned guy. and cooked animals. I've fucking 
uh, uh, gotten no, my own water. You know, then you're right. I've lived in the you're Mojave right. Desert, not for years, but you know, Me too. For, for, I a did for, for a long time, for a long weekend, for, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah, an yeah. extra <laughs> long vacation weekend. But it's just one of those no. things where I learned survival. But he's right, though. This is the type of shit that, I mean, dude, I'm fucking useless. I, I don't need I Walmart. Jokes. I don't need fucking uh, uh, to, to go and, and buy some shit at the store or else I'm not going to be able oh, I'm starving. What do I do? I'm, I'm not some fucking piece of shit I got a uh, uh, right, hold on, hold housewife on. or, or, so, or so, uh, jerk off guy. That's, so where are you going to uh, go wait, hunting wait, yeah, on Long that, Island? Thank you. What, what's your first move if you if like there's anarchy? Now you have to leave the studio. Where are you going to go? First to? move is to get the fuck away from the multitudes of, of uh, people. Okay. Yeah, that would be it. So You'd have gonna, to go to places he's, he's where they get in can't the left survive. Lane on the highway because that's not going to be crowded. It, it all they sounds well and good, but <laughs> where are you finding food on Long Island? Fuck Long Island. Uh, don't first of all, don't go near a city. But you don't have your car. Dude. Everything stops like at 11 How does everything stop? You don't think you could grab a fucking bike and fucking just get the fuck away from so you people? Would, so you would hit the mountain. Sixty-three right? I would go, years old. I would go you're somewhere bike. where there's no fuck the sixty-three-year-old. He's fucked. I'm saying you. Me. You're sixty-three. If I'm sixty-three, then I'm bike. fucked. I'm sitting in my window with a shotgun shooting people. Then what, what do you want from me? All right, hey, let's play uh, this out. Ah, so the ultimate right. prey. You, you jump in your car and and you head uh, what? Where? Mountains. Uh, How I would, are you staying warm? Wh wherever you'd have to, you know, you'd have to be uh, on, on the, the fly. You'd have to see where the people are going, where mm -hmm. they're where they're not going, where you you can. Uh, How are you uh, getting hunt? off Long Island if everyone else knows that? Fuck, I got to get out of here. Fuck it, grab grab a boat. Get the fuck out of here. What if other people grab Other boats? people, not everyone is. You know why? Because everyone's weak and stupid and waiting for someone to help them. People don't help themselves like those fucking douchebags in New Orleans. Fuck them all. Help yourself. Help your fucking self. Get the fuck out of there. You waited and died and sat in your own shit waiting to be helped. Fuck you. Help your fucking self. They're weak. They're motherfucking weak people. That's they had no why. Money. No, dude, fuck them no, in no, their no, money. No, 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 no. Walk no over money. a fucking bridge no, and get the no fuck money. out of town. No, they get no out money. of town. Fuck wait, wait, them. Wait. No, this is what happens. It was literally like, you know, every time we're up here, every time it's going to snow, they tell you, this is the big one, man. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be 20. This happens to them anytime there's a fucking hurricane. And this the is the time. The sheep all went this to the, the fucking time. slaughterhouse, is what happened. This is the time. Fuck them. This is the time it actually happened. Yeah, and when you have fucking people with guns on the other side of the bridge not letting you go across, they weren't. Huh? There weren't people with yes, guns on the were. other yeah, side of the bridge were. not yes, letting them go. Were. What? National Guard people? No, no, no civilians. civilians. Yeah, and and they would block off whole neighborhoods then, uh, with, with militia. Then, then grab your own fucking guns and shoot them. It's called yeah. fucking survival. Anarchy. It's called anarchy. It's called anarchy. It's called if murder. Some, if someone's keeping you from surviving <laughs> with a weapon, but he is making a point. Here. You then have to fucking survive. That's why I'm talking. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Because when, you know, when there's a breakdown of society, but it's white people versus black people. You're gonna Anthony, sit there. No, fuck believe. race. Fuck Anthony, race. That's I'm what it was. No. Though. Fuck that! But no! Anthony, I'm not talking race. That's the race. truth! You can say fuck it all you fuck want to. Fuck it! I'm not the talking race. Ward okay, is, so you're telling me the black people... Black. So what, said, what no, you're not, saying... Not what, what you're saying is black people were too stupid to leave. No, That's, you're no, saying that! You're saying race, motherfucker! No, I, no You're listen, saying race! Listen! Who are saying that they were too poor? I know. They were too poor to get transportation to leave. On off chance. If it costs $500 to go visit relatives in... And why does it cost $500 to get your ass from point A to point B? If you don't have a car, how are you gonna get there? Fucking leave. How? You don't have a car. F I don't How? You just start walking? Improvise you know? and fucking leave. How do you leave? have a hurricane that's uh, 150 leave. miles wide? Leave. Leave. How? How? You don't How? see the fucking weather map that it's coming? How? Le Walk the fuck out. 150 miles in a three days. Or two days. 150 miles. The, the, the hurricane it, didn't go 150 miles inland. It did not go 150 wide. miles inland. With it that, was that 150 miles wide. It was in wide. fucking New Orleans. Those it was people stayed there. Waiting miles. for help. Wow. Help, wow. help me, help me, help me. Fuck you, I'm helping myself. Wide. Wide. Where do you go? <laughs> Where do you go? Do you think that thing went 150 miles inland with uh, yes. wind speeds of 150 yes. miles an hour? Yes. The second Google it hit New Orleans, Google it started getting weak. Of Anthony. course it did. Anthony. You course, think 200 Google miles it. inland it was the same damage yes. as New Orleans? Look Bullshit. Look at Monroe. Bullshit. No, Bullshit. Bullshit. That's right on Bullshit. that one, Ralphie. It was hurricane start, strength no winds were up north. to 150 no, miles in No OP, OP, fucking OP. way. OP. Let me ask you a question, you too. No OP. fucking you way. You think New Orleans OP. is on the that Gulf? Disaster, it's not on the Gulf. That disaster where all the people died was right on the fucking coast. 
and right up the river. Bill it had Burr. nothing oh, to Bill. do with uh, yeah. anything inland. Right. Okay. Please. Well, question. All right, right. Bill Burr. Yeah. All right, Bill Burr. We, we okay. uh, give if, the if, mic to Bill Burr. If, if, uh, Bill Burr, If, if you're broke, you're living in New Orleans, they're always telling you the big one's coming. You have nowhere to go. You don't have any fucking money. Right, okay. Nine, zero. You're gonna roll the dice. Ah, this is probably bullshit again. I lose my but house. Even if you go to leave, dude, if you don't, if you don't, if you got three bucks in your pocket, where the fuck are you gonna go? Oh, Just, hell, now I agree with Bill. Then yeah, why the fuck? Okay. There's, there's no <laughs> All right. Look, I, All right, but Bill's I, I understand me back. what you're saying. Then it's your right fucking problem that you have three bucks in your fucking pocket. And you know the thing about Anthony right now is a lot of people probably listening thinking that he's sounding like this insensitive fucking person. But what he's doing is he has the mindset that you do need to survive where you put it on yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of those people, the problem was they had belief that the system was going to help them, and, oh, like insurance Where's companies? my water? We're fucking dying over here because we have no water. There's water everywhere. Pick up a fucking pot that washed up somewhere, fucking put, build a fire, put the water over it, and drink it after it's boiled, and you're fucking fine. But those fucking cunts <laughs> sat there waiting for pallets of drinking water. It. It's got Fuck oil. Fuck you! You... You can purify I, I, fucking water if with you have fire. a purification process. With fire and no, gauze. With fire and fucking Listen, gauze see, and a bedsheet. A fucking bedsheet in a pot and you're drinking fucking clean water. Bullshit. They waited there. The they waited out. there you like the sheep the in this out. country. Yes, you can. No, the molecules are too small. Bullshit. Sorry. Look it up. What are you talking about? I'll you purify take some any sewer fucking water. water. Fucking you New can York sewer water. shit in water and I'll fucking purify it. Let's do it right now. I will Get say though, one, 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 club. one thing I will say is, to the world. Yeah. you do to a certain degree, <laughs> like even though I, I, there, there were people that could have left New tour. Orleans and could have left, though I do yeah. I agree with yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but it's also like you don't expect certain things, which maybe in hindsight is ignorant, but it's like when you go to the Superdome honestly. for yep. a football game, you, you honestly don't expect to see like everyone you live with in the city there and people dying on the 50 yard line. It, it's just like, of course maybe you it's don't. naive. But you just you don't expect certain things. So they they uh, and the government did, did fuck up. They they didn't they didn't. FEMA was they terrible. Fucked and Megan was terrible. Just like the government fucks up, they mm -hmm. fucked up. But you know who fucked up? The people that didn't take care of themselves. Are you going to sit there I have to and agree die? With on that. You're just going to fucking die and, and go? Oh well, uh, the government fucked up, so I'm going to die or use every fucking instinct every will you have to live to do something to get yourself out of the fuck but situation the you're side, in. Though, what, I mean, what if you're fucking 80 and you already can't walk? Fuck you, then you're dead. I'm sorry. But, but, that's not but that's it happens. Thing, <laughs> Those people aren't going to fucking live through through some kind of downfall of society, it, through some kind of breakdown of, of this country. They're not, right, they're not right. fucking living. But in fairness, they're they, dead. The I actually the understand Babies and old people, I, I dead. They do, take Weak, care of the, dead. they do take care of the fires in California a little bit differently. The way they yeah. rush aid to a lot of other places a little bit differently. And they rushed aid to other places differently than they did it there. They fucked up. They didn't do it right. It just sounded like what? De Niro in The Untouchables. <laughs> yeah. I want him dead. I want his family dead. They, dead. They, dead. They, they take care of they fires in uh, in uh, California differently. Yes. Yes. Meaning that they're they're. Oh. They the urgency for, of their response for rich the, people, the being coordinated for with their people. response. Their houses burn down too. Of they, course yeah, they and do. And then if they're insured, but they're they, they get uh, paid for. It was it. embarrassing it's, the way it's they handled called, the world's man. It really was. Like, it, it's it's I'm not saying the government didn't fuck up. Terribly. I'm just saying you can't wait for someone to help you in a life and death situation. Right. I think he's right. The fuck are you waiting he's around right. for? Sitting there starving and and, and not having water. When there's water everywhere, if you have any inkling of survival skills, you can purify fucking water hey, Anthony, with household well, items. Can, can you teach me how to start a fire without a match? That was one of my New Year's I resolutions. I tried doing that once in the rain. I, I was freezing cold all night. I can't fucking start a fire. I, I can't start it. a good Wait fire a in my you fireplace. You got stuck in the woods yeah, and you didn't do too well. I fucking a lived. Year, a few years ago, you got stuck in the woods. You weren't eating. I was you lost in the woods. You warm. Let me tell you, you something. Get, you did get some drinking water, I remember. I was lost in the woods. And uh, he's, we an, found, uh, he's a fucking armchair we found fucking survivalist. We that's, found, what, that's what I'm thinking. We really found is. shelter. <laughs> he he just bought all this shit. That's he's got all the shit. He just Go fuck yourself. <laughs> we fucking that's found shelter thinking. in he the woods. He can't even start a hot fire yeah. without a fucking match. He's yelling at <laughs> 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 found shelter in the fucking woods. Did you eat? Found water. Did you eat? No, it would only a day had gone by. What if two or three days we're going to go by? Then I would have had to figure out somehow. What were we going to do? What were we going to do? You got the water. I know how to make a Fucking oh, snare! <laughs> I'd snare a rabbit. What if it was uh, what if it was like, 25 degrees cold? Say it was like minus five. I wouldn't have been out there in the first place. But let's say you were. You thought that you were the car. Yeah, let's say you didn't. No, I would never through. fucking gone He's out. Joe the plumber. That's there. right. You're oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! 
Joe, the, I'm Joe the survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, but Ralph, you said you you know how to start a uh, fire. Yeah. Start. How do you do it? Uh, there's a lot of ways you can. Uh, Zippo. Use... <laughs> no, you can use uh, uh, friction. You can uh, flint and steel. Uh, you can uh, take. Uh, hey, if uh, I come down to Gotham after my shows at Carolyn, <laughs> there you go. There's Ralph, a nice guy. Uh, yeah, I like right? that. Can Ralphie, you show me can the green room? Look at it? Ralphie, you do realize if there's anarchy, you're fucked, right? We no, go, actually, I, I, think I'm <laughs> I think I'm a survivor. Everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks one they are. A no, no, you, everyone you would, thinks you would be, they are. You would be in a week with, uh, well, we, with in three we days put without. Put you on a spin uh, with, in two seconds. <laughs> in a week without food, you would be weak. I well, have you, you put an you apple in your mouth within the first fucking twenty minutes. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're in a big steel pot. I am genetically superior to you all in the bit of chaos. You was potatoes. In the bit of chaos, I am the only survivor in this whole room. Ralphie would so be the first to go. You so skinny bastards would be weak. Fucking Bill Burr said it. What do you say? What a hell of a marble. What a hell of a marble steak he'd make. Ah, you son of a bitch. First of all, I am genetically the only one who would survive. And if this was 100 years ago, uh, I'd probably be the only one here alive. We would just slice pieces off you. Oh, oh God damn. Little my titties. He'd be, he'd be a big piece of shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like Holy the shawarma. You would be the first to go. I love shawarma. Uh, I think y'all are uh, completely wrong. I'd be well, the only one to survive. No, but I, I think your, uh, that the we would fact, be picking our teeth with your bones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the fact that Ralphie, you know, I used to make fun of the Boy Scouts. I thought they were gay. Their little yeah. uniforms and Who? shit. Yeah, the, the, boy boy the Boy Scouts and the Weevilos oh, the and all yeah, that yeah. crap. Yeah. Suck. yeah, I saw my older brother he became a Cub Scout and got the fucking <laughs> not even the shit kicked out of him. Just the vibe was there at the bus stop. Like he just immediately became that little baby fawn that walked away from yeah, the yeah, yeah, right. I was just like, I'm not doing that shit. Who <laughs> knew? <laughs> so anyway, yeah. uh, anyway, we got two uh, hockey players uh, calling each other. Oh fact. shit! Yeah, is that I, where I, we I, started I, this? Wow. That was an hour Jesus and a half ago. Jesus Christ, wasn't it? Ralphie, where are you going to be? Gotham. I'm at uh, Gotham Comedy Club. Yeah. All right. And Bill's at Caroline's, and Jimmy's yeah. uh, going <laughs> to be, be in DC tomorrow. There's a new club. It's on a colonized moon. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll be performing laughs> <there. It's>, uh, <laughs> we got lunar funny bone, ladies and gentlemen. We bring your singular money denomination to pay for his book. We could have saved a lot of time. Bill was talking about like the next hundred years. You were right. talking about thousands, thousands of years long in the that's future, why, and that's where the, that's where the problem arose. Yeah. Where yeah, there were two different things. I'm talking about Jimmy. next week. <laughs> they weren't, to me, completely separate arguments. They weren't, even though mine was... Uh, it's, it's, he, he can't really technically prove his, although his is much more tangible... Oh boy, Thing. I was going for a summary and no, I No, but fucked I, I up. am. I am. I'm saying it. <laughs> I fucked you up. stirred the shit up. I know you got to do it. Do it like the end of the, the, the political debate. Oh, so every, I, I was going for some acknowledgments, not another chapter. He's, no, I'm Fuck. saying Bill's, closing statement. <laughs> Bill's, the closing statement, Senator. Bill's is more tangible because it, it's something we can kind of see and touch, and mine is more like, well, this is what I think. So yeah, you know, more, I, I understand that. You're more Doctor Kaku. And I think we actually. I believe that. I think we. I think we hate less. I really do. Evolution really? through what you, I really you understand. Do. It is an evolution about, mentally. If you read no. about old New York, where like the neighborhood, the Irish, the Italian, you don't you don't see that kind of hate as much anymore. It's peace. It's political yeah. correctness. But you don't uh, really see it. Like their neighborhoods would beat the shit out of each other. No, it's been out, laws. It's it's lack of corruption that no, used no, no, to be no, there. No, no, no. It is no because back in the day, some of they were Italian. They were 100 percent Italian. You yep. were 100 percent Irish. Right, right. That's so again, so, yeah, yeah, it's kind of everybody mixed together. It's getting a lot of mongrel. It's getting a little more confusing, but. I mean, I do a lot of. I like uh, history of New York City, and man, they would one block would fight the next block because yeah. it was the Italians and the the Irish and the Polacks and this. And How that. brutal were those fights? Holy! Oh shit. my God! You watch that movie, right? With the uh, five points where they're down there. Uh, yeah. Which one is that? New York uh, gangs of New York. Gangs oh right, New right, York. right, right, right. And they just go with hatchets. Like the butcher, yeah. the butcher would just come out with his hatchet that he used at his butcher shop and just start hacking apart some carpenter that's at you with a hammer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad enough like that happens to you than just the, the where me medicine was at that point. <laughs> yeah, they didn't yeah. know, you know how I mean? to do shit. <laughs> medicine was basically let's stick something that he can bite down on in his teeth <laughs> as we remove this as appendage. I saw this off this problem. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, Keep your your note to yourself. We'll be. Right I know. <laughs> yeah. Just Wait. This. No. Sitting there. Rock and roll. Opie and Anthony. Bill Burr. Ralphie May. Jim Norton. And guys on oh. the ice calling each other a faggot. That's where it began. Waiting for like 
you know, are you still three, talking about your hair restoration? No, I was asking no, what, what you the... fake survivalist. He was talking about hey. <laughs> I, I want to see you do one stupid thing. Let's stick Anthony I in the woods for a week. I'm not even that. Start a fire. He'll be fine. D fucking drink some <laughs> shit water. Because you know it's safe after what you do to it. I can, you know something. The wa have water himself film himself like the Blair Witch. You know how important <laughs> it is. How important it is to be able to get water. Water is the fucking thing. Not yeah. all. Oh, all right. Let's tie him up and throw him in the Pine Barrens. Let's give see if he can survive. Can he survive an days? hour above 110th Street? <laughs> no, that's a whole different. That's a whole different story. I'd need a few items from home. <laughs> Racism's fun. Jeez. Oh, so, are you going to do something for us? Uh, Show us something. You what, talk what? a good game. Yeah. Filter well, some water or I'd something. have to leave, you know, and, and go in search of a few things. I bet he can't even pitch a tent. No shit. Sure he can. Just show him somebody at the age of 15. <laughs> 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 yeah, well. <laughs> Real. There are a couple of ways of uh, getting water uh, from, I, from I your surroundings. I don't want to anymore. I want to see. Yeah. We, we want to see. Enough not, talk. Not we enough want talk. action. We want action. Because I forgot that you went on a little hiking trip. You got lost in the woods. You weren't even that far from your car. I was, I was you got too. lost in the woods? I was, yeah, we yes. went on a, a hiking trip, ago. me and my <laughs> chick. Wow. Really? And, uh, yes, and she, she said, this. she said, You're oh, adorable. we go down this way. And I said, no, we came up this way. And she goes, no, this is another trail. Uh, that you listen to same why, why, why are we listening to her? He's blaming the crowd. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. blaming the crowd. Why? Maybe that's what happened to those guys in New Orleans. They listen to their woman. <laughs> right. No, no, it'll, it'll pass. It'll Look. pass. We don't need to go anywhere. Look, <laughs> we weren't. He just stepped uh, in I didn't because we weren't in any shit yet. When the shit started, I knew how to fucking take care of day before. You know, I didn't read the day before. I knew how to take care of shit once the shit started. Yeah. That he was, was still 150 Anthony, miles as inland. As long as Anthony's nah. in the woods and he's with someone who knows where they're going. No, nah, <laughs> she, she didn't know where, she didn't know where she was going. <laughs> I'm saying, why did you lost. listen to her? Uh, cause she said she knew where she was going. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I got you there a little bit. And you got lost. First of all, it's cause you're a chick. I deserved it. Uh, you're right. right now. I did. He I did deserve it. you're bald. But, I, I did deserve it. But it, I logic. found shelter. I found water. I was able to get us out of the woods by walking and keeping uh, the same direction, knowing that I'm not in the middle of fucking you know, nowhere, nowhere, that we're going to pop out you somewhere. You sound like you're going to get fired on The Apprentice right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sir? You know, after you fuck up, and then you're like, you know, but I, I took yeah. the proper All right. <laughs> so, so every guy that listened to his chick at one point is going to die in a fucking cataclysm. A cataclysm. You did, fuck you, because the then we're all dead. Joe, no, if it was if it was some kind of fucking big ordeal, I would tell her to shut the fuck up. No, we're doing it this way. But for a little hike for the day, I'll go. All right, cutie pie, we'll take you. You and those white people who get lost in the woods. <laughs> Why are they pointing and laughing at me? It was a big ordeal. At you. It was a big ordeal because you were stuck overnight. That's yeah. when it becomes a big ordeal. You almost died. If the sun's going down, it's still not a big ordeal. It went ordeal. to take a leak at a rest area. You got lost. <laughs> I survived. I survived. <laughs> but show us something. He I plays found some of your skills. Anthony plays with battleships and his skills. Yeah. Yeah. Share, I'm not. I, share with us. It's like asking. Some water. It's like asking a boxer. Here, show me how you knock someone out uh, with someone here in the room no, and have them do it. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Because no, it under. Isn't. Oh, they you can shut do that. up. Because under <laughs> under <laughs> those circum, that. you need the <laughs> circumstances <laughs> where you have to fucking life or death. Yeah. To be able hey, Opie, to fucking yeah. come up with I this say shit. Enough talk. I want to see some action. That's what I'm. Uh, yeah. That's beautiful. That's it. You're a good talker. On, we want to yeah. see some. Uh, I want to see who's better. I want to see who fights better. Tomorrow. You, you or Danny. I want to see who fights better. Go at it. No play fighting. Uh, I mean, real. I say Danny. Like, you like you're fucking hate each other. You're not going to do it Don't because it's not necessary. Because hey, it's Anthony, not necessary. Anthony, do you go camping in your backyard? No, I don't go camping <laughs> in my backyard. I can't wait to fucking be walking over your bodies. I cannot wait to be walking over your weak dead you fucking jump bodies. Over your bathroom you and slippers. You're fucking. fucking you're dead. No, with my five eleven boots, you motherfucker. You you'd all be dead you with your stupid you trendy you sneakers. Should go fuck you off. Shoulda, you shoulda. What? You shoulda kept Jill around because at least she knows how to start a fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New girl's clothes. 
shit. Give me a break. If you want to hear you hockey guys. guys yelling faggot or what, or you want to say that for tomorrow. I want to hear that. There's plenty of ways to purify fucking well, water. Just do it That's right. Just the government to throw, get their plastic bottles. Throw Go white fuck people yourself. with blonde hair and blue eyes into it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, well. Uh, Ralphie nailed you. Uh, Ralph. No, he didn't. I got you a little bit. I got, I got you a little bit. You came so far from fucking nailing me. Yeah, I got you a little bit. You said some good fat jokes, but I got you a little bit. Nothing. 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 Jokes, nothing. You nothing. Little bit. Dude, dude, it up. dude and the second you're fucking thinking you did because of what Jimmy's saying, <laughs> Jimmy is goofing on you so bad right now. Oh, he's stop, being sarcastic. Stop. No, he's being so fucking sarcastic saying, I'm so are you. Fuck you all. Jimmy Anthony got you on that one. Insulted you a little bit. He got you on that one. A little bit. Insulted you a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. A little bit. A little bit. From my party. Uh, trying to break up my party. Break up my party. <laughs> Don't get nervous. All right, let's uh, listen to hockey players. <laughs> Shoot him right in his fucking mouth. <laughs> You're going to sound more intelligent than we are at this point. Uh, you need must be throwing your goal. This also proves Bill and Holy Ann's point shit. about the uh, alpha male. Dude, yeah. this is hysterical audio. Uh, you fucking pussy. That's why I, I like how they ran out of insults. They didn't yeah, yeah. You fucking uh, pussy. pussy. They kept going back to it. Yeah. My, my, used pussy. Pussy. Uh, my, my favorite part of that is when uh, he, he's reaching to call to, for some kind of thing to fling at the other guy, and he calls him a tit fucker. Like, yeah. that would be like the worst <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> you hey, you, fucker. you put your penis on girls' tits. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said tit fucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't hear that. That's great. <laughs> oh, uh, fantastic. Matt, uh, Matt in Ohio, just saying, and he, he says, I bet if Bear Grylls was there, he would be able to show everyone some sort of survival trick. So yeah, why how to get to the nearest hotel. Yeah, really. <laughs> Fuck him, Don't too. give me that shit. <laughs> you had him Stop. on the show. We could have told him that to his face. We did, too. We did, we, I asked about the hotels. No, not this time. Oh. But we did take care of it the last time, I guess. You're right. Yeah. Do you go hunting, Ant? I used to go hunting. I just I don't Would really like enjoy to? I do a lot of target shooting. I don't like uh, killing. He got uh, sad when he saw the animal. Yeah, I, I you like, go like hunting? killing I things. Go. Okay. I want to learn how to do it. I'm not a hunter. I, I like shooting, mm -hmm. but I'm not a, you, a hunter. What's your favorite really. weapon? Uh, oh, I have quite right. a few of them. Pistol Jesus or uh, the Among rifle. <laughs> I enjoy um, the uh, AR-15. Really? Yes. Just got a fun gun to shoot. That uh, gun sucks. I have a, a Sig Ooh, 550. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Why is, hold on. Why All is right, the, Tommy, what do you like? Why is it no AK-47? No, 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 no. That's, uh, what do you, what do you it, like? It is a better weapon. But, what do you like? Uh, uh, the Heckler cock. Oh, really? Yeah. The HK? Uh-huh. Uh, which what the model, though? What design? Uh, the rifle, the, or? The 9mm uh, oh. uh, subcompact. <laughs> Oh, see, because I have a couple of uh, bull pups that are very nice, uh -huh. that uh, very short barrel, short Ooh, thing. But I, the I like, <laughs> I like the AR-15. I have a jams sick, all the time. No, I don't have any problems oh. with. You uh -oh. gotta keep your fucking weapons clean. I do. Ooh, oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, oh, shit. You clean them oh, now. You clean them right, up, right after you fucking shoot them. You, you clean them all. Of out. course. All right. I, I don't have, I For don't record, have a problem with them. Two one, Ralphie. To one Ralphie, all right. All right. Uh, my favorite pistols are uh, HK and Sig. Make yeah, Sig Sauer is awesome. Make very good pistols. I, I have a Sig 45. I have a, uh, an HK 40. My Sig 45 is my night table gun. It's got a laser sight <laughs> on it. 
Are you no one's Ooh, that's a half. Coming in, that's a, that's a <laughs> good one. Terminator. That's but, cool. uh, You're I have three. That's a great weapon. I have three uh, versions of what they would call the an AR-15. Two skins. Yes. <laughs> one is the one that's used by the DEA and Secret Service. It's Which very one? lightweight you for one. That, um, uh, made by uh, uh -huh. God. I can't remember the name of the plan. See, I lose points because I can't remember the name. I own so many goddamn guns. Then I have my middle version, which is just your basic AR-15. Minus eight for um, commenting on bombing there. Then I have my heavy version <laughs> with a bipod, um, an ACOG scope, uh -huh. uh, oh, and uh, it takes the uh, 556 uh, round. Nice. Uh, that's a which is that's a, <laughs> that very your shoulder. Nice. It's yeah. very, no, it's very nice. Oh, it's very green, stable. Not it's, a lot of talk from the Ralphie camp. Nope. It's well, very, I'm letting him state his case. It's very nice. It's Ooh. a nice rifle. It, uh, How you many know. guns do you have, Ralphie? I have. Uh, I want to say nine. Were they a lot of hunting rifles? I guess I have uh, bolt action deals I, I have, from Daddy. I have Ooh. a uh, Weatherby uh, Vanguard. All right, the Weatherby is that you're talking hunting rifle. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's an amazing rifle. Uh, I have a, a 270, a Remington 270. That's awesome. All right, what is that? Uh, bolt uh, action. Uh, no, that one's a semi-auto. That's a step okay. up from the 260. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> By ten. <laughs> I uh, I have uh, uh, three uh, combat uh, shotguns because I got one in each house and I, I doubled up on one. I'm the sorry. Shotguns are nice, aren't they? Yeah. fun? yeah, they really are. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> a little condescending. Mossberg, two points. Mossberg. You kind of called your gun cute there, Ralph. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you don't own any cute. pistols. Like a I pink, do have you pistols. Know. Oh, you do. I have uh, a Taurus nine mil. Uh, six hour forty five, and I uh, I'm thinking about a uh, forty Glock because I like the different specs of it. You know. Yeah. Oh, I, like I just recently also picked up a fifty caliber Desert Eagle, which uh, nice weapon I have. But see, there you go. I Very have Smith nice. and Wesson snub nose uh, three fifty seven that I love to death uh, with walnut. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, I think Ant wins. An old wheel gun, yeah. Those yeah, are fun. Those are nice. Those are nice. You never know. I got uh -huh. that. I'm uh, building a GTO, and we're putting a... Uh, Guns in it? <laughs> yeah, we're putting a... <laughs> Where the a, headlights go? <laughs> you know one of those... Uh, have you seen the hand safe that you do the combination? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Out? Putting a little I'm drop in that motherfucker? I'm putting, I'm putting it in the, uh, in the door. Hey, why don't oh. you guys have a duel? Damn. Yeah, come on. With your cock. <laughs> stand, stand back to back. <laughs> a duel. Just take, uh, you know, take out your... your, your Love. What's, okay, your you state of What's your, your state of residence? California? Gun, uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. Oh, you don't have a carry? They, they fucking hide each other. I do. Oh, so why do you need some for your fucking car door? You just fucking carry. Uh, because I don't want it, I don't want it uh, on me at all times. Why not? I just don't. Anthony, I why don't not? Want it because I'm a liability... <laughs> I am I'm, I'm fat as hell and I'm afraid somebody would take it from me and if really But that's it, where right you there. need you need it on the places you least expect. So you know exactly. well, the scale. The time scale. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Just be scales with bullet holes. Oh boy, another fat joke. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Why make one joke? <laughs> I, I don't mind. Yes, uh, uh Anthony, Billy. Why, why, don't, no, why, why don't we drop both <laughs> you guys on the Appalachian Trail? Yeah. And uh there's some sort of goal you gotta reach and you're allowed to hunt each other. I'm going to pitch this to fucking... Uh, <laughs> it would be a great reality show. A reality it would show, be. great. It would be great. Yeah. I, I, and what I was a Boy Scout, I could survive. Yeah. More radio but it should be real me. survival. Ralphie, no bones wants to know if you have a potato gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a potato gun. <laughs> See, that would be another uh, fat joke. Why? What's, what is well, it? Well, potatoes are really fat. I mean, that doesn't... If you eat um, enough of them, sure. Oh, is a potato gun a real thing or is that bullshit? Yes, it's real. So, you never see a take potato a gun? You take a, a big tube, sometimes PVC, oh, some big oh, metal, no, yeah. and then now you I have a it. compressor that Sorry, uh, uh, pumps guy. air into the back of it. That and... Um, and uh, a valve release for the air that you pump into the chamber. And then you take the potato and you go thwack on the front of this thing. And it'll actually cut the potato in the shape of the barrel. Because, you know, you're, you're like cookie cutter. That's so it makes, a, it makes a, a very uh, tight seal. And then when you release the air, it uh, shoots the potato out at great velocity. Oh, and it yeah. uh, goes a great distance. They've got to have, they gotta have YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. I think, I think everybody missed the gun. fact that Billy actually thought that you could make a gun out of a potato. Oh, potato <laughs> gun. I thought that. He's that like, is that a uh, real thing? Yeah. Well, he's, 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 he's Irish. He's a potato gun. <laughs> he wants to make everything <laughs> out of potato. He's just pop <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like Mr. Potato Head, only with a gun. You pop <laughs> a grip and a barrel in it. You'll freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> I, you know, I think I got to confuse with, like, bongs. How you can make a bong out of an animal. Yeah, right. I think you can do that. You know, like those zip guns, you take a little yeah. tube. Yes. And if you shave a gun down nice and thin, you can enjoy it with a burger. Yeah. <laughs> now, Coke logic is... What if you carve it in the shape of a gun? 
Well, you uh, know. Hold on. Well, you can do that with a bar of soap on. and escape from prison, like Dillinger did. Or and Woody Allen and take the money and run yes, until it sure. rains. Coke Logic has been keeping track of all the guns you mentioned, and he, uh, Coke Logic asks, does Ant own a Ralphie gun to, to hunt Ralphies? <laughs> no, I don't the AR own a Ralphie AR-15 and hunt a Ralphie. AR-15. <laughs> AR-15. I was definitely. having an FS-2000, which is the, the semi-automatic version of the uh, 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 F-2000, which is... Uh, comes from the P you ever see the uh, um what is that the the P nineties that are in um Call of Duty <laughs> the plastic gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's fantastic. <laughs> what is this uh, almost when is almost this like a pistol. Star Trek convention gonna end? It's fantastic. Well, the gun you, start gun. <laughs> you know you said you went into a sporting goods store and you were thinking about getting a gun. You know what it is? I just don't know what you're talking about. That's the gun I have. Yeah. You That's what we saw gun? before. That Batman gun? I got is that, that gun. That gun is a pistol. Wow, really? Yeah, it's a little semi automatic. Shoots two twenty three. What do you think, Ralph? And uh, it's probably. a pisser. Gets a lot of you know. Hey, what's that? When you're down at the range. Hey, yeah. what are you? What are you sporting there? What do you say? None of you. It looks like you're about to take on an alien. Away from me. I know. It like, really is very uh, futuristic looking. <laughs> yes. The future. Strip on a flamethrower. <laughs> um. Well, be awesome. Bill Burr had a good idea with like dropping these two, you know, on the Appalachian Trail or whatever. Yeah. Well, Caleb, uh, I apologize ahead of time, Ralphie. No Caleb worries. writes, uh, if you drop Ralphie on his trail, it would become a canyon. <laughs> a what? A canyon. Oh, bad oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I don't care. I don't care. But when you they, say I don't care, it means you care. That's um, one of the rules on our show. Oh, Every guy I didn't know that rule. I've been... What? What? Been... Uh, yeah, but at some point you really my, oh, don't Oh, need care. a recommendation. Okay, he's been fine. Arrested for shooting a potato gun. Let's go to Alan. Alan the trucker. Alan, what are you hauling today? Uh, right now I'm empty. Yeah. Oh. He's a uh, bareback or whatever they call it. It's, uh, <laughs> I want to call out Ralphie there. He uh, ripped on Anthony for his rifle and then he mentions a handgun around. Don't even know what calibers there are. What, ah. what, what oh, do you mean? shit. We didn't pick Ooh. up on that. Yeah. Wait, which oh, caliber? Oh, no. I, have a, I said I had a 9 mil Taurus. I have a forty-five Taurus. I also have a three fifty-seven <clears throat> Smith and Wesson. No, your your HK rifle. Oh, my HK. Yeah. It's a nine mil. That's what I said. Nine millimeter. He did rifle. Yeah, but when Anthony mentioned his AR, you said that's so so, and you know nine mil or whatever. It's like he was talking about a rifle, and you then mentioned a handgun around. Yeah, okay? he did. There's different categories there. Okay, you know, if you're going to go apples, apples, and go apples, apples. Anthony has a bunch of different rifles. Well, so do I. I also said I had a Weatherby a 360, I mean, 30 out 6, rather. I have uh, a, a Remington 270. No, but he was saying uh, what, when uh, he, uh, automatic he, he, weapons, he was I have a rifles. BAR. You, you went, I you have went a BAR. Guns. Oh, really? Yeah. He's not saying vast. what you have. A Browning automatic rifle. It's oh, the weapon. I was going to say you're putting one in your basement, right? Oh, Browning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that weapon is phenomenal. A bar. No, this is a like a bar. One's, I, one's I on different there. than the okay. other. One's got alcohol. Oh, oh literal gin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Alan. All right, we... Uh, we got to get out of here. We got to yes. Man. I, <laughs> what's, what's wrong, Ralphie? I, uh... Nothing. I'm just uh, trying to remember where I'm at this week. Oh. The Gotham Comedy Club. Gotham. 367 9000. GothamComedyClub.com. Gotham Comedy Club. Gotham. Bill I'm Burr. just trying to sell some tickets. Bill Burr's going to I got be here the Jew to... wife who's uh, on my ass, so I got to oh. sell tickets. You don't like your wife anymore? <laughs> no, no. She's always been a Jew. All right? So, <laughs> yeah, I knew that going in. It's all right. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. I'm married way above my level. Well, as long well, as you know that, though. Go it's short end of the stick. What? <laughs> she or me? You look at relationships and say, oh Who's, God, who got the short end of the stick? You've never played short end of the stick? It's hilarious. Well, when you're walking down the street, sometimes oh, play a, short end of, of the there's stick. There's a lot of parameters to that. There is. Some things might not just be visual. Yeah. Can't just... No, you, go with, you, know. you just go with the visual. Just element. visual. Oh, oh yeah. you go with the visual? Yeah. That's oh, hilarious. Yeah. That would be pretty much... Every woman I've ever been with. <laughs> <laughs> really just, maybe that's why I've never been able to make one work. After a while, yeah. they're like, you know, I'm really getting the short end of the stick here. <laughs> <laughs> but I make money! Uh, uh, I don't give a shit. Yeah, bye. Yeah, I'd rather be fucked properly. Yeah. <laughs> I take them out to nice dinners, but, uh, you know, they can eat anytime. They can cook themselves. <laughs> what I can't deliver, that's the problem. This stupid jackass, he thinks a potato, you can make a gun out of it. Come on. <laughs> 
Uh, Anthony, I don't know, man. I'm really questioning your survival skills. I'm you can have question Ralphie, them Ralphie, all you want. Ralphie has the southern accent. Yeah. He's, he's got the whole thing. Can't Just you, a good old boy. He's got that whole thing going on. Can you do something for us tomorrow? You can... Uh, tomorrow. All you want. Yeah, you white trash from Long Island. Uh, you don't know Think about it. What's uh, legal here as far as... Um, well... You know, what am I going to do? Bring in a Bunsen burner and a, a pot and some dirty water. And then I need some kind of a, but you a did metal. But the same kind of to, water that they had. To condense. Yep. I, I need oil no, and no. gas do you in think, it. Do you think feces, oil, urine, gas, and feces and alleg urine? Alligators. If I, if I heat up uh, a pot full of this disgusting water. The gas water, will blow up. And, yes, the gas first blows up. Now, if I heat up uh, uh, this disgusting water to a boil and have a metal plate above it that's tilted... The boiling water then condenses on that plate, runs off oh, into shit. another container, leaving all the impurities behind because oh, only the water shit. is condensing. If you had that. And you have... You're, it's a fucking disaster area. There's shit laying around everywhere. All right. I can't find a piece and of no, metal wait, in a wait, 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 wait a minute. He just made a great point, and then you, you came up. That was kind of childish. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I mean, if you it's can a hurricane. Still it. There's shit if everywhere. you can still it. Hold on. I have a fire. That is, that is I'm with Ralphie on this one. If yeah. you're in flood and everything I'm around you is flooding, you have no fire. I'll fucking make a fire. How are you going to make fire? I'll fucking find a lighter. Tomorrow, How? it's already water. In studio, like uh, you have to look around and, and make it happen in studio. There isn't resources in here. I can survive in here. Look, I'll send Kenny out for food. There, I survive. <laughs> <laughs> no, what anarchy. do I need to do? It's anarchy. You're in a city. Yeah. It flooded. Okay, no, uh, am I allowed to start fucking uh, killing people that are after me? No, we're no, just after you. Can no one's after you. It doesn't get real you think you can kill somebody. Head. It's anarchy. No one's after you. It's Jesus. fucking anarchy. I need to steal you, vehicles. I need to you're fucking... You're a do-rag and your <laughs> silent film right. mustache. Uh, I, 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 I'm out. I'm, drain, I'm draining fucking uh, nothing, uh, radiators. I didn't hear. I like it. It looks like a villain. I'm draining radiators for fucking water out there. What, am I going to start doing that tomorrow? I was thinking of all the holes they poked in your head that some of that paranoia would have Don't ever do that. Why? Because those you. chemicals will kill you. But I do the same thing. I distill it. You know something? <sighs> All Anthony can do to survive is climb up a clock tower and just start shooting innocent people. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, but you're not eating anything. It'd be the happiest day of his life. I wouldn't okay. need food. <laughs> for It'd be like a video game. I, I've, well, I've gone without eating for hours with playing video games. <laughs> we, we don't feel like playing What Did We Learn? Because we got to get out of here. No. we got to go into meeting mode, which is no. always fun. Bill's in uh, Caroline's this weekend here in New York uh, tonight through yep. Sunday. Yep. Jimmy's uh, at the State Theater yes. Friday night at D.C. Falls Church, Virginia. Bill, what did you learn on the show today? I learned that I need to learn how to live outside. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ralph, some survival I learned skills. that if I have to, I want to learn how to shoot. I can, yeah. I can, Anthony, I can go that. If I ever want to get hair plugs... Or I want to learn Not how to plugs. shoot. I can go. Whatever it's, the fuck you got. It's just a new name. What a is restoration it? thing. It's individual follicles <laughs> that were put in one at a time. Not Selected the plugs. from the finest, <laughs> minus in the back hair of his in the back of is my it, head. Is it from your hair? You got yes. mullet. Oh, okay. He's got mullet hair on the on the top of his fucking head. Beautiful. <laughs> Going to grow out fucking with long locks. <laughs> I hope it backfires and in six months he looks like Billy Mitchell from King of Kong. No, not oh, Billy <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> I am not going to look like I Billy Mitchell. Hate Billy Mitchell. <laughs> this stupid head of hair. Uh, uh, he's gonna look like Hugh Jackman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they put him in wrong, like backwards, and they grow straight up like the ears in Wolverine's ears. <laughs> he's look like a racer head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would suck. Yeah. No, Hugh Jackman was just voted the uh, sexiest man alive. Sexiest man alive. alive. Yeah, it's over. How do you know, Bill? Huh? How do you well, know? Let me tell you, when, people I, magazine. when I go down the magazine, the stand. People magazine readers are gonna be the dead ones. They're the ones that are laying in the street, fucking dead. Yeah. When. Uh, when everything comes crumbling down. All right, why don't we, uh, why don't we get out of here? Oh, we got to do uh, Step Brothers, yes. If you have a pharmacy card or that supermarket right. card that you pull out when you ring shit up, <laughs> you're, you're a dead man you're, it, or a dead woman when, that, when all it all comes. Because, no, I'm just saying, that's the type of person that is going to be gone. Step Brothers now available on <laughs> DVD. Blu-ray, high Anthony. def, and yes. PSP. Really Step Brothers stars Will Ferrell. Mm, back them all up. You. And John C. Riley, rated R for crude and sexual content and Ooh. pervasive language. I heard Available in both funny. theatrical and unrated versions. What? I heard that's funny. I, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help maybe out. They with the, uh, what, maybe they could give us yeah, a free fucking just copy, the then we go just, home and watch the damn the thing, and then we would be more it's informed. Like seven jokes. Why don't you keep talking, just... Ralphie? <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, Reading from uh, wherever. Yes, we're going to bring in Joe DeRosa tomorrow, too. Bill Burr's radio partner will uh, will do a little radio. Joe, you got a show? Show is funny, man. I, Joe did great on his first time. He was on our really show. funny. Did he great. got a show or he's doing a show? I, I didn't know 
you and Joe had a show. On, yeah. Uh, yeah. You read about it in the trades? No, I don't read great. that. <laughs> Actually, they, did, they did report about Uninformed, about your uh, your big interview with uh, with uh, Stephen uh, Perry. No, no, Joe. Joe Perry. Joe Stephen Perry. Perry. Uh, Journey <laughs> Joe or Aerosmith. Joe Tyler. Yeah, Joe Perry. Yeah, that yeah was, you got uh, a write-up. I can't remember where it was. Joe Perry? Uh, oh my God! Oh, okay. I thought this is Jim. I just mixed up the name Steve Perry. He knows nothing. No, we had Joe Perry in. We've interviewed yes. him. Nice guy, but a bore. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, well, you know, we finally got a good guest, and you're gonna you're gonna trash him. <laughs> oh wait, you oh, haven't shit. talked to him yet? No, we did. Oh, okay. So no, that's it was all right. great. He was in a conspiracy theory. It went great. Was he really? Was yeah. he good? Really? Yeah. I do think that Oswald acted alone, though. Hmm. He never did. Hmm. Huh? He never did before. Hmm. Uh, I don't know on that one. The jury's uh, uh, still out. I'm starting to think he acted well. I don't know. So many weird, <laughs> weird things with that. But then I was could, you, uh, could, could you pull that off with that with that uh, bolt action? Bolt action uh, guinea rifle that he had? Mm -hmm. uh, probably not. That's no tough. way. It's That's been tough. done a number a, a number of times though. In uh, since then, it bolt has actions been. are so hard to fucking Man. bolt quickly and yeah. then take aim again. Yeah, Very but hard. if you grew you up the recoil, like I did hard. and then you got. That that's a hard shot. You got wind. You got velocity, altitude change. Yeah, that's a could, very hard shot. He hey, could if, get you, lucky, if you were a uh, hunting man for sport and you didn't want to spoil the meat, where would you shoot him? Um, you still have to I avoid the my, my first my first buck that I shot uh, was running away from me, and I shot him between his asshole and his balls, and <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. and it shredded his uh, insides. All the blood came out. It was right. the greatest deer that that uh, I've ever tasted. Really? It was um, yeah, because all the blood had come out, and none of the meat was. I heard, I heard if you shoot them in the entrails, like all the shit and everything comes out. You don't want that. Meat. I think mm -hmm. that uh, I, I think you just got them I'm, quick. I'm not a hunter, but from what you I shoot know, targets. I think a neck, a neck house. shot is uh, a I've good had shot. I've with Anthony and his survival the best skills. Right behind the shoulder. Yeah, right yeah. Right yeah. behind the shoulder. Somewhere in there, just I think is a good shot. shot but shoot, shoot, shoot the antlers. It knocks them down. I shot them. They really upset them. Fell. They upset them. Lurs. It knocks off their equilibrium and they tumble. They get no reception. Is that what you did right there? Is that it? Oh, that's the other place, though. The, we said that I yesterday. didn't go there. Uh, what the was that in your clinic that you went to? I went to medical hair restoration. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. they ripped it right out of the back of my head, put it on top. Look at that brother. That yeah. brother they just took some Brillo. <laughs> and <fucking duct> tape <laughs> now he's kid from Kid and Play. <laughs> yeah. It seems like the brothers, they pepper. can only get that fucking flat top. <laughs> <laughs> he was Cleveland and uh, from the family guy. Yeah. Now he's, that was and geez. these guys are all pretty far gone. But, yeah. uh, you know, I wasn't yeah, nearly I, this I far they, gone. When you're that far gone, can they take enough from the back? Yeah, that's uh, your back isn't Sometimes they wait a whole year and do it again. They mm. re-harvest from the back of your head. You know, I hate the way that means they have to take year. another I know, isn't that creepy? I know, I only say it because it's creepy. But they have to take another strip, that means. Uh, yes, they How do. How big is your, your, your strip in the back that they took? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? No, it's, it went from like ear no, to I ear. I know that, but how? And then um, about an uh, an inch or so uh, hey. wide. Man, I'd love that. Cause wow. I got all this yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm with Bill on wow. that. Wow. And does that ever fill that moat of skin? No, they, no, no, they, 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 they then it suture it together. They sew it together. So you, like, you never, was, was never missing. That's why I have stitches back so your there. Your eyes look wide open. Tomorrow. I got all this. Yes, my eyes are very <laughs> wide. Like a burn victim. You haven't done too many times. You have a full head of hair and you can't close your mouth. Yes, and girls won't fuck you. <laughs> I think you just fell out of a burning house. <laughs> <laughs> Always look surprised. Yeah. Wide awake. Yeah, somebody tried to tell me that there was an operation where they could literally, if you just had the total, like, you know, the, the classic Lou Grant yes. baldness that they could literally... Horseshoe. Yeah, basically... It's called scalp reduction surgery. Yeah, they, 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 they do do that. they cut a strip in the middle, and then they slam both sides together. <laughs> they Fuck cut that. the middle bald part out. Do you know... And then stretch it together and balloon. sew it. They put a balloon in there and yeah, they slowly they elevate it so it stretches the skin. All right, and then that's when they suture it up. Shut the fuck yeah, up! Swear to God, I've so heard him stretch out. Where is the part in your hair at that? <laughs> right. I don't, oh right God. down the middle, dude. Your, your ears you are just growing down. Your ears are on You're top of like a wing. You look like a fucking rabbit. Right down the middle, baby. <laughs> you look like a middle-aged alfalfa. Got <laughs> 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 that one little pubic hair sticking up in the back. Fuck that! Just shave your head. Shave your head. All right, we're going home. Shit. Go get Step Brothers. All right, man. So we can continue doing our radio show, please. Step Brothers. DVD, Blu-ray, high def, PSP, whatever. Uh, Bill says he heard it was funny. Maybe the company could give us. Oh, a couple, I saw. I saw a, a scene copies. from it last night. Actually, they showed it in the class about modern comedies and stuff. <laughs>
That's real, Ralph. <laughs> that, that, yeah, actually, that is not real. Why are you laughing? Because Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, that movie's a... Uh, that Jimmy went to Yale real. last night. Did you really? Yeah, I was kind That's of a, a guest lecturer brought us today. in a small, uh, in a small <laughs> class about the history of comedy. And they, and were they showing, brought up Step no, no, Brothers? No, they were showing... The guy, the guy who was the professor for the class was showing... Who's the, that the, guy? His name is uh, Eddie... Uh, Opener. Friedland. That's who he is. No, Opener. No, he's not a comic. He's a, he's a writer. He like wrote Sid Caesar's uh, Life Story. And he's uh, he was teaching a class, uh, uh, a course... On the history of comedy, so I was the guest lecturer for the final class, ah, and they were awesome. sh they were showing uh, certain clips of Carlin and Lenny and Richard, you know, all of these, and, and they were showing movie clips like the blockbuster comedies, and and uh, th th that was just like an example they gave of what's popular now mm. was yeah. a scene between those two. That was all. Oh, okay. okay. How was uh, the, the little thing? Was it nice? Did you get some offs? Yeah, it was only it was a, it was a, it was nine people. It was a ten person class. I mean, it was, you, it was any hot wear, girls you that you were scoping out. Jacket and some loafers. No, I wore my fucking a black shirt and my Sabbath fucking uh, hoodie, the same hoodie that I'm wearing now. Were they familiar with uh, Jim Norton? They all had read the book. Yeah, they yes. all had the book. Mm -hmm. So, uh, did you get to meet any of the skulls? No, nah, man. The skulls. Oh, yeah, me. now watch them. Yeah, Secret watch Society. Yeah. Any it's girls that uh, you know, made it? There's uh, a couple girls saw. in there. Yeah, hi. Were, hi, ladies. How are you? Glad you enjoyed the book. Take care. <laughs> yeah, they were nice. They were, it was cool. Oh, it's sweet. I got a Yale pen. Jimmy. Great. Where I got a cool? pen from Yale. Other people get diplomas. I want to. <laughs> if you get a pen and you're fucking bragging. <laughs> <laughs> they took him to the bookstore. You know, <laughs> I got to, <laughs> a free t shirt. Beat it, stupid. <laughs> pen. You're right. Take the pen. I really am. They didn't give me a dime. Here's a pen, shit dick. Thank you. A Yelp pen. Fantastic. Asshole. God, am I stupid. That's awesome. <laughs>